just getting started. Like I said, it's about 10 o'clock at night, and this is what I've made so far. Made this 29 here and that 69 there. So that was a little over 100 bucks. Like I said, that was from that phone. But I got a tip, like a $5 tip, that bring that total up. It was like a $5 tip. It was, which one was it? This one right here. So that one was $18 right there. If you also look on yesterday's video, that was 18 bucks. So they tipped me that and I got the surge. So look, that's $8 worth of surge, which makes that like a $14, $15 tip, right? I mean, $14, $15 ride for 11 miles. But like I said, they be putting these tips on there and that shit keeps it moving. We need those tips because we got to keep gassing these vehicles. A lot of people don't realize, you know, all y'all doing is passing energy. You ain't getting none of us rich with this shit. You just pass that energy and, hey, you know what? Here's an extra five bucks. Put some, hey, that's another gallon of gas, man. Hope you keep going. Pick more people up. Spread that good ass energy, brother. I appreciate you picking me up. That's all you saying. Like, these motherfuckers out here think we really doing some amazing shit with these $5, $10. We're just keeping ourselves in business so we can keep doing business. I just picked up a reservation, too. Uh, this is at 430. Where are we going? Paradise Valley? Oh, shit. That's way the fuck up. $20 for a six-mile ride. But it's way the fuck up there in Paradise Valley. And that's far, far north. That's what, And I, I got to be down at the airport by 5 o'clock. So if I do some shit like this, now nah, I don't know about that, man. I know a lot of people be like, dude, that's, that's a cheap-ass fucking ride. It's 20 bucks. Nope. Nope. That's way too far. And this here is another airport ride, 9.7. Like, which one did I get? 2.9 Lincoln Scotts. Oh, that's that one right there at 410. Because this is the one I got. It's from downtown to the airport, 7 miles, $18. I got to be there by 5 a.m. So I got to be downtown by 5 o'clock in the morning. If I do this, you know, ride right here, there's 20 bucks. Way up there? I don't know. I don't know. And even that 20 bucks. 320, get to the airport. If I'm at airport at 320, I'm going to turn around, shoot way up there, you know, for the $20. Get the $20, come all the way back down here. You know how many miles that is? That's about 40, 50 fucking miles of driving for $40. Because like I said, I got to do a lot of running to the airport. Then I got to go all the way up to Lincoln Drive. Then all the way back down to downtown. Man, fuck all that. That's way too much driving. When I could just probably do, you know, a five-mile trip right here downtown and make 20 bucks. Why well, I got to drive 40 fucking 50 miles to get all this money. I'm not doing that. That's way too much driving for me, way too much. And if you're from Phoenix, you know what I'm talking about, from the airport all the way up to Lincoln Drive. So right now, let me see. Uh, oh, that $5 tip I just got. Cool, cool, $5 tip. Yeah, I already clicked yes on that one. So thanks, I appreciate that shit, brother. All right, what's the policy? They updated the policy reservation for this shit, the reservation policy. You may lose access to the reservations if you do not follow these guidelines on more than two reservations. So, you got to be online at least 40 minutes before the trip. And if something comes up, you got to fucking get out the way. You got to say, you know what, I can't do that fucking reservation. You got to get that shit to somebody else. So, those are the two new guidelines. Read that shit. You can pause the fucking video and be like, let me make sure because I don't want to fuck up. And you'll lose the, the reservation platform. I like the reservation platform for shit that's going to the airport. Well, look, damn, that was a lot of fucking tips in there. What the fuck was that? Oh, I was like, wait a fucking minute. I did click all that shit. I was about to be fucking pissed. I was like, man, hold up, where all I'm... So, yeah, these are all these tips that be coming through. But, man, sometimes I don't see them other... On Lyft, you don't see it like that. On Lyft, yeah, you might see, like, three out of 17. Three tips out of 17 rides. I'll be like... Yeah, some shit don't seem right. Motherfuckers on Uber seem to tip more, or either Uber seems to give us our tips quicker. I don't fucking know what the deal is. So I remember motherfuckers, man. I'm telling you, I know where I drop people off at. I know all this shit. Ten bucks, let's do that. Oh, you son of a bitch. You took my motherfucking food, you motherfucking food hound. I see you, motherfucker. Yeah, whatever. I don't give a shit. It, was, it looked good because it was Vaqueros. It's right around the corner from my motherfucking house. That's like right around the corner. That would have been a banger to start my night out with. But you got to move fast, motherfucker. Study long, study wrong, motherfucker. I'm guilty of that shit too. Motherfuckers get me every fucking time. If you look at this shit too long, there's another motherfucker out there. And I'm, and I'm glad, motherfucker. If it was a shitty fucking offer and it went fast, I'd be upset. I'd be like, you raggedy motherfucker. Stop taking these shitty offers so fucking fast. 
But the fact that it was a good ass offer and a driver jumped on that shit, that's what I'm talking about. You on your shit, man. You on your shit. You beat me to it. I'm proud of you, motherfucker. Take care of your family. So enjoy that motherfucking Vaqueros. And those motherfuckers, man, it's funny. Because they got this big ass uh, basket of French fries. It's like a huge bucket of like cheesy meat fries. Shit's good as a motherfucker. But I used to go there and my son used to be, and they got, you know, he don't like a lot of Mexican food because he don't like spicy shit either. So he used to be like, Dad, can you get me them Mexican chicken nuggets? I'm like, Mexican chicken nuggets? Motherfucker, it's just chicken nuggets from a Mexican restaurant. Ain't no such thing as a Mexican fucking chicken. <laughs> it's like, can you get me them Mexican chicken nuggets? Like, what the fuck is that? That's like Chinese chicken nuggets, African chicken nuggets, German chicken nuggets, Swedish chicken nuggets. Motherfucker, ain't no such thing as Mexican chicken nuggets. It's fucking chicken nuggets. <laughs> Shit, I had to record and all because I was listening to some Masego and I didn't want to copyright my video. But I just got this ride a mile away from my house. We're going down to the Wild Horse Casino. Now, the reason, why, and it's $10, like $10.80 for 13 miles. The reason why I took this shit, because it gets me away from the fucking airport and all this. I'm going to take this $10 as my gas money to go 13 miles south to that, air, to that uh, casino. There's two casinos down there. One time I did a casino ride. And I actually got a video on it. I said, these motherfucking casinos pay good money. And I got a dude, I swear it was like fucking four miles, like $22. You got to get close to these fucking casinos. And this ride is taking me down to Wild Horse. There's two or three casinos. You got Wild Horse, Gila Bend, and Lone Butte. Three fucking casinos sitting down there. This one's getting me there. And these people are like all in town, living in hotels. They just want to get to Denny's or get somewhere to eat, get this and that. If they don't use Uber Eats, they want to just move around a little bit. So I use those fucking casinos as my little cash cows to do quick hops. That's where your money comes from. A lot of short, quick fucking hops. Especially a casino. And if somebody won, oh, motherfucker be happy. They quick to pass that fucking energy to you. Man, I just hit these motherfuckers up for 400. Woo! Thanks for picking me up, brother. Here's 20 bucks. And that's how casino life is. Because I know, motherfucker, I used to go to casinos. We'd hit up craps, this and that. Shit, every time we go to a fucking restaurant. Shit, I don't give a fuck if I get a goddamn ice water, $20 tip, because I just hit these motherfuckers up for 30 for 1300 bucks. They'd be like, this motherfucker gave me $20 tip for bringing him some fucking Sprite. It's like, goddamn it, when you do well, you share the love, motherfucker. You share, greed, that's why my life has done so well. I've given out so much that the world can't do shit but give me back. I've given a lot of shit away in my life, always giving out good energy, because I want that shit to come back. You give out shit energy, guess what? Shit's going to come back to you in the shittiest way possible. And you're going to sit there and be like, why do shit keep happening to me? Because you ain't fucking releasing that good ass fucking aura, that good ass energy. Just putting that shit out in the universe and you just meet kinder people and nicer people and more generous fucking people. It's just how energy fucking flows. New message from Trump. Meet me at the top main entrance. Meet me at the top main entrance walking up now. Okay, you motherfucker, because I'm showed down here at the bottom right now. God damn it. Because most of these motherfuckers are only at the top of there at the restaurant. But... I'm, man, I'm sitting right in front of this motherfucker right here. Man. I hit the fucking horn on his ass. Let's see if they, I swear. Ah, oh, shit, that wasn't him. That was somebody else. So I got to go all the fuck. I was hitting the horn for that motherfucker. I don't know who that was, but I hit the horn for that motherfucker a couple of times. I would just pick up a trail, but they only paid me $8.88 because the, the map was wrong. Look at that, 10 miles for 888. The map was wrong, they had to recalculate it. They had me take, he was going to the casino down here. I'm gonna go across the street and sit over here real quick. They had me take him to the casino, but they had me taking him to the hotel part all the way out in the middle of the fucking desert over there. He was only going right here. So instead of me getting, you know, I think it was $10 for 13 miles, they ended up giving me eight for 10 miles, almost 11 miles. So. You know, sometimes this fucking map, man, these upfront fares be fucking up. Because I think they do that shit on purpose. They throw you a big-ass dollar amount like, hey, here's here's motherfucking, you know, 1067 for, you know, you could take them down to the casino. And I'm thinking, okay, cool, I'm going to take them to the casino for 1067, no problem. No, these motherfuckers trying to take me to the hotel out in the middle of the desert part. That's where everybody stayed. They had me at the, the lobby area out there instead of at the actual casino. So... These fucking apps, man, I think they should actually give me the 1067 because it was, um, that wasn't my fault. I was banking on the 1067, so they shorted me like two fucking dollars on the bullshit. But, you know, dude might end up tipping me back anyways. And these cats, you know, they from Tennessee, 
And we were, you know, we chatted about Tennessee. You know, I grew up in Memphis for about eight years. So we talked about Tennessee, kickback and shit like that. So hopefully, you know, they slang me a tip. They're going to go in here and gamble for a while. They're like, yeah, we finna go in here and break these fools. So good luck to them. Hope they go in there and make some money. Slide me a fucking tip or something like that. But I don't know, man. Uber and Lyft. Y'all got to get y'all shit together, man. This, this fucking crazy. When I was pulling away, a res popped up at 320. It's 20 bucks for nine miles, 78. So that'll be hopefully by three in the morning, I'll be somewhere up north. Because if I'm up somewhere up north by three o'clock in the morning, I can grab these people, shoot down to the airport at 320. Then I got, and by the time I get to the airport, it might be about, I don't know, about 340. Let's say 340. It'll be like a 20 minute drive. So 340 gives me another hour and 20 minutes before that one starts so i could go downtown do some quick fucking you know hotel hops until 5 a.m once 5 a.m well really once about 4 30 hit once 4 30 hits they might slip me one more quick fucking ride in there if it's a short ride but usually these apps will freeze your shit at about 30 40 minutes before your your opportunity comes up your little reservation they'll freeze your shit but I've had it before, like I said, in a couple of videos back, I showed where I had a, a reservation and they slipped some quick shit in there because it was a short trip. So don't always think you can't get a trip in between there. You probably can if it's a short enough trip. The app will try to squeeze that shit in there. Algorithm does all those calculations. It ain't no motherfucker sitting at the counter with a fucking number two pencil and a sheet of fucking paper. Now, this is algorithm shit. These algorithms be like, wait a minute, we can send this car, do this shit, then this amount of time, this dude can make it there, pick this bitch up, she ain't never slow, he's always fast, the car's pretty quick because he always fucking speeding, he could do it, and the app will give you that motherfucking shit that's all right, cool, he could do it. But it, it, you think it's a motherfucker sitting there with a goddamn number two pencil with a tongue sticking out the side of their fucking mouth trying to scribble some shit on some fucking paper. No, nah, that, that take too long. They got computers doing this shit now. So that's what I always say. If there's enough time in there, Motherfucker, let that little computer get the fucking working and shit. Let that motherfucker little Pac-Man eat up some goddamn data and say, hey, go out there and do this fucking quick hop. You know, we'll give you $5 real quick. Run this motherfucker around the corner. You ain't gonna miss that 5 o'clock appointment. Just go take him to the hotel. Cool, got you. So, like I said, a lot of times that's what I do, man. I'll take these appointments knowing I can buy myself some times if the fucking algorithm's working. Now, back in the day, when Uber first started, it probably had the motherfucker with the number two pencil. I wouldn't have tried that shit back in the day. Because, you know, them dumb motherfuckers be sitting over there miscalculating shit, putting the two over the one, carry the one, track the two, divide by the four, don't know what the fuck he's doing, add another one, wait a minute, that was too much, subtract the one. They don't know what the fuck they doing. Had these motherfuckers don't even know how to count change. <laughs> Maricopa is not that far from where I am because I'm by the Wild Horse Casino. If anybody in Phoenix who's driving out there knows what I'm talking about, you know what I mean. So I do rides in Maricopa every blue moon. But the fact that they got a $9 surge sitting down there, there's no drivers down there. It's dark. There's nothing down there. They're, they got a casino down there, a hospital down there. So if you go down there, you're going to be stuck all night doing real quick rides. People getting off of work. That, now, if that $9 surge stayed all night, you get $9 added to every single ride. That shit would be amazing. But the trick is, and we know, Chasing that fucking surge, saying I'm because like I said, I could turn around right now and take my ass downtown Phoenix. It's the same fucking distance to Maricopa. But the difference is, there ain't no fucking surge downtown Phoenix. There's probably a ton of fucking drivers down there with their apps on. Even at the airport, ain't no surge at the airport. It's probably motherfuckers with their apps on. Let's see. Look, 41 fucking cars in at the fucking airport right now. So for me to go to the airport, I'm 46. I'm number fucking 46. That's 16 miles away right now from where I am. Now from Maricopa, right here, let's see, from where I am to get here is not no fucking 16 miles. That's probably, I would say about 11 or 12. I would say about 11 or 12 fucking miles. But to get to that airport, yeah, you're gonna be fucking stuck. I don't know, maybe it is like 15 miles to get down to Maricopa, but it's, it's open traffic and it's just straight highway. There's no lights and shit like that. But you got $9 sitting there. So if somebody wanted to fucking gamble, roll the motherfucking dice, go down to Maricopa. But again, it's not crazy fucking busy down there. So you da you damn to go down there and you still got to come back. So you go down there, you might not get no super lucrative fucking rides. You might not even get that $9 surge. It might just be to sucker your ass to get somebody down there. 
Then once you're down there, you get no surge at all. Then you're so fucking mad, you're just driving and shit. See, like I said, they just pulled that motherfucker away. That shit don't stay there forever. Like I said, you shoot down there, the motherfucker might not be there. Then you're driving around forever and shit, mad, trying to make your fucking gas money back. But then you got to stack on top of that because now you need gas money back. Because you just went down there and now you got to turn. So like I said, a lot of this shit is fucking carried in the stick. A lot of this shit is sucker fucking bait. Sucker rides and sucker bait. You got to know how these fucking apps work. A lot of motherfuckers who ain't used to these apps, they'll see shit like that. If you a couple of blocks away from a surge, go for it. You a mile away, two miles, go for it. I mean, what the fuck is two miles of drive? You got to do two miles of driving to go find somewhere to piss. Go for it. But 15 fucking miles away, 11 miles away, 9 miles away, 8 miles No, nah, don't fuck with them surges. Because that shit's going to disappear before your fucking engine even get warm. Your ass going to be headed down there. Burk, nothing. Turn the fuck around, go back. Mad as a motherfucker. And probably miss an opportunity because if you would have sat where you was, you would have probably got a fucking offer. But you got, you got to know how to use these fucking apps. And it's not, you know, you see all these dollar signs and all this shit. Where I am, there's nothing. When I pull up to the casino, there was two people sitting out front using a phone. For all I know, they probably got a ride on the way. Who the fuck knows? Yeah, I'm up here by Walmart right now. Uh, they probably got some shitty rides about to start generating. And that's why they taking so long to give me a ride. These motherfuckers tried to send me a wing stop. $3, 4.1 total miles when I was sitting down at the gas station. So I was like, yeah, they up to some shit. So I left that fucking gas station, came a couple of exits down. So now I'm sitting here on Elliott at this Walmart. I'm about to pull up to this quick trip, hang out there for a fucking minute. But if it's going to be one of those shitty Wednesday nights, and I get it. Like I said, I'm not going to be here all night. I got a couple of appointments, you know, early in the morning. I could go home. Fuck, it's only 11 o'clock. So I can go home, fucking do some goddamn video edits or whatever the fuck I want to do. And not even worry about driving these motherfucking streets right now. Because if you ain't making no money, fuck these people. Take your motherfucking car home and sit your shit in the driveway. Don't even be available. If these motherfuckers ain't paying you, be smart about the shit. You are worth way too fucking much to be in these streets for fucking pennies. Don't even let these motherfuckers treat you like that. And for the ones that is allowing that fucking treatment... You deserve it because you think you deserve it. I know I don't deserve it. I don't accept the shit, period. Like I told motherfuckers, I'd rather go broke before you. I allow you to treat me like shit. Uber don't fucking love you. If Uber is treating you like this and treating you like shit, laughing all the way to the fucking bank with your money, doing all, these motherfuckers don't love you. They love the profits they generate with your ass. That's about it. So don't try to fucking give me no bullshit about, oh, no, Uber care about the drivers. Uber love the drivers. No, Uber love the fucking profit that these raggedy motherfuckers are allowing them to make on their backs. That's what Uber loves. Keep it 100. Uber ain't never checked with your motherfucking ass and no email. Talk about, hey, how's the utility bills going for you this summer? We know it's kind of hot. Is there anything we can do to help you with that bill? Any certain rides we can give you? You know, can we put you in any type of quest or any type of bonus to help you pay for your summer heat, your summer cooling bill? These motherfuckers don't care about you. They ain't never sent you one motherfucking... Ma Is your family eating right? Is everything going good with the grocery bill? We know groceries are kind of expensive right now. Is everything... These motherfuckers don't care about you. They care about getting your raggedy ass on the fucking road and generating profits for them. The motherfuckers that work in their buildings. The executive buying their fucking Jaguars. That's who they give a fuck about. Give a fuck about you. Keep it 100. Like I said, and if these motherfuckers did give a fuck about you, prove it. Show it. Don't send me a motherfucking, hey, congratulations on 3.5 years with Uber. Yeah, you're a gold fucking member. You've been doing amazing. Thank you for your services. You can keep that shit to yourself. Don't send me no shit like that. That's a slap in my fucking face. Because these motherfuckers out here going broke. Motherfuckers, you know, getting cars repossessed. My man Frank, I'm going to tell you what happened to his shit. This motherfucker was renting a fucking Tesla, and they started treating him like shit. No, fuck that. I'm not doing that. No. Fucking as. 524 for five miles now i'm cool right now they can keep that shit i'm not fucking with that right now if i'm gonna leave it's gotta be for like at least ten dollars man ten dollars for like seven eight miles something give me something fuck that shit like i said he was renting that motherfucking tesla and he was they even charged his motherfucking card they charged his card the right amount of money and shit hold up let me show you what this motherfucker was saying we're gonna do a whole goddamn series on fucking frank's ass Cause this motherfucker, he hit me with some real shit. We're going to do a whole fucking series on Frank. Now, Frank, this is his shit here. They charge this motherfucker. Let me show you. That's me and him chatting. Because we be, we be on the fucking roll, boy. We want to rampage these motherfuckers. 
This is the shit they was charging his ass. So don't look at the 407 and 511. Don't look at those. The Buick, when he was renting the Buick, it was 374, 370, all that shit. He started renting that Tesla at 438. Got the 438, Model X. 435, Model X. 435, Model X on 630. An ambiguous motherfucking charge for 1158 on 77. He don't even know why the fuck Hertz charged him that money. Hertz charges as $1,158 on July the 7th for no fucking reason. No reason at all. So he hit them bastards up. And he was like, man, what the fuck is going on? And he was mad as a motherfucker sitting there talking to him. They was, took out 436 every week. Then they put out 1100 fucking dollars all of a fucking sudden. And now they want to tell his ass he owed fucking 575 or some shit like that. Where is it at? Yeah, right here. Now they telling his ass is 575, not 435. This is Hertz. And he's hitting Uber up, asking Uber, what is going on? Why are y'all fucking with me? Why are y'all charging me 435 on my card and all of a sudden y'all hit me for 1100? Then you motherfuckers turn around telling me now it's 575. That's $140 fucking more every week. What the fuck is going on? That's what Hertz is doing. And Uber is sitting back going, that's just what it is. Uber ain't sending no better rides. Uber ain't sending no better challenges, no better fucking quests. Uber don't give a fuck. Uber don't give a shit about Frank. Uber could be like, Frank, what the fuck you mean $140 more a week? What the, wait, $140 more a week times four weeks? That's an extra $560 a fucking month. An extra $560 a month these motherfuckers charging you on top of what they already charging you for no reason at all? And they took $1,100 out your account? Frank, what can we do to help you out? How can we help you pay that since you renting that car to work for us? What can we do to help you? You think they ever sent Frank a message like that? Fuck no. Frank, thank you for your service. You've been an amazing driver. Riders love you. You're outstanding. Your five-star rating is impeccable. They don't give a fuck about you, Frank. These motherfuckers will watch you get your ass handed to you by Hertz over and over again. They will watch Hertz drain your motherfucking bank account. And you know what that's going to do? Make you go out and drive more or lose the fucking car. Oh, you got to get out and drive more, Frank. You're going to lose that fucking car, buddy. Get out and drive more. Oh, Frank, we see that they increase your fucking your rate every week by $140 a week. You better make an extra $140. Well, can you give me an extra $140 worth of bonuses or challenges or sir? Nope, can't do that. Motherfucker, I'm barely fucking making it on what y'all putting on the market right now. And now you telling me y'all gonna hit me with more expenses, but my revenues ain't going up? Imagine working at a fucking job and they come in your office, knock on your fucking door and tell you, oh, starting tomorrow, you need to start wearing $500 suits to work every day. Wait, I gotta start wearing $500 suits to work every day? Motherfucker, I only got like three of them. Well, you need to go out and buy two more, at least three, and keep them bitches in the cleaners in rotation. So you got to start wearing $500 suits every day. Motherfucker, I usually only wear a good suit on Monday at the staff meetings. So I wear a new suit every fucking Monday, and that's it. I just swap the motherfucking pants and the jackets around, swap my shirt around, make myself look like I'm wearing a different fucking suit. I keep the grays and the blues and the blues and the browns. I keep the shit going. No, you got to wear one every day, not just Monday. Fuck that. But that's what these goddamn Hertz fucking rental companies is doing to people renting these fucking Teslas. They fucking them, all of them. And of course, a lot of these motherfuckers ain't gonna keep it real like Frank keep it real. A lot of these motherfuckers like, oh no, Tesla's amazing. I'm saving so much money. Yeah, you sitting at the fucking filling station, filling your fucking car with electricity for goddamn, you know, four or five hours. Oh, it's a lot of surge downtown. Four or five motherfucking hours. Every couple of days, you sitting at the motherfucking place charging your shit up. It's taking you four or five hours every two days to fill your shit up. If I had to sit at the gas station filling my car for four or five hours every two fucking days, you know how much money I would be wasting? I would be wasting the opportunity of making fucking money. Let's see what he's talking about. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the fuck's going on down there. Oh, it's a fucking event going on down there. Ah, uh, fuck. From 930 to, yeah. Fuck that. It's 13 miles. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Fuck that. I'm not sitting in my car in that shit. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. I appreciate it, James, man, but fuck that shit. That's what happens when they get your ass down there. They get you sitting in an hour fucking traffic riding around. Look at all that surge. 625, 75, this and that. Nah, they, hey, driver's gonna be down there making some good-ass money tonight. I'm not gonna be one of them, no. Fuck that shit.
I'm cool. Let all the motherfuckers flock down there. I'm sitting down here. Hopefully, I get some fucking hits down here. But I'm not driving no 13 miles just to sit for fucking 30, 40 minutes trying to get to somebody and then get out of there. End up getting like fucking $16 total. It's like, dude, you've been driving around for a fucking hour. You had to come all the fucking way down here. Then you pick up this short distance ass fucking ride. It only took you an hour to get $16. Like, what the fuck, man? Fuck them trips. Look, it already dropped down already anyways. This shit's dropping faster than it fucking got posted. But fuck that shit. No, but like I said about Frank with these fucking Teslas, man. Motherfucker Uber, they don't give a fuck about y'all. They really don't. I mean, he was even on his message, you know, he, he says a lot in that message. I'm going to do a whole fucking video over me and Frank's conversation and the truth about these fucking Tesla rentals that these raggedy motherfuckers won't tell you. Uh, I'll take that. Nope. Fuck that shit. I just saw how many miles of all glass somebody else took that shit. Woo, woo. 16 fucking miles. Yeah, fuck that. That's going all the way downtown. Eesh. Yeah. I saw that shit was going. I was like, nope, don't touch that motherfucker. Yeah, that shit's going downtown. I'm not fucking with it. Oh, hold up. Let me pull up. Scoop this shit up here. Dude starting to hose down shit over here. I'm going to pull on over here real quick. Yeah, but fuck that shit, man. It's like, I'm not... Nah, nah. And these motherfuckers don't want to tell y'all the truth about these Tesla rentals because everybody hate to look like a dumbass. That's just me keeping it real. Everybody hate to look like the dumbass that got played. That's how it is with these fucking Tesla rentals. Motherfuckers hate to admit when they're wrong. These motherfuckers are not worth the money. If you are using this as a piece of business equipment and you got it specifically for fucking business and the business is not there, it's a fucking loss. You getting your ass handed to you with these fucking Teslas working 80 fucking hours a week to pay for a Tesla. You ain't working 80 hours a week to pay for a better lifestyle because you ain't got a better lifestyle. All this money is going to that fucking Tesla. That's where all your money's going to keep that fucking Tesla in your driveway. They sold you a fucking Tesla. They didn't fucking help you get no job that's paying you a great amount of money. Look at your fucking profit margin. Look at how many fucking hours you work every week. Subtract the cost of that fucking Tesla and say, okay, this is my net profit. Divide that shit by the amount of hours you fucking work. You're going to be like, I'm netting $8 a fucking hour right now. I am working for $8 a fucking... You might as well walk into fucking Fry's. Walk into PetSmart. Go get a fucking job at PetSmart. And they'll probably pay you $19 a fucking hour. But instead, you want to be the cool motherfucker with a Tesla. You working to pay for a rented fucking Tesla. That's what you work. And Frank caught on to the shit. Ron caught on to the shit. Vinny caught on to the shit. A lot of people are catching on to the shit. A rented Tesla is not the fucking business. You need to go buy that bitch. If you're going to be paying that much for it, you need to just go buy that bitch. Oh, but my credit is fucked up. Then you're living above your fucking means then. Maybe a Tesla is not for you. Because if you got to rent a fucking Tesla to feel like you should have a fucking Tesla because your credit is fucked up, then you living beyond your means. Think about it. If your credit ain't there, your cash ain't been there to cover your credit. If your cash ain't been there to cover your credit, then your credit's been fucked up. Take care of your credit first. Other than trying to rent a motherfucking Tesla to make sure this company comes good on the Tesla's they bought. You build they fucking credit. Because every time they go out and buy a Tesla on credit, they find a sucker with bad credit to rent the motherfucker. I see you, motherfucker. Ain't that some shit? They got bad credit motherfuckers fixing their corporate credit by renting these raggedy ass fucking Teslas. And they fuck my boy Frank over. They try to fuck fucking Vinny over. They done fuck Ryan over. They taking all this money out of these people fucking accounts and ain't saying why. Why are you taking money out of these accounts? Uh, just because it's service fees. Just because it's uh, an ex extension fees. Just because all these fucking fees they never told you about. You are better off buying a fucking Tesla. My credit fucked up. Then go buy something else until you can afford what you want. That's how we used to handle fucking life in reality. You fucking deal with what you can because what you want needs to sit on the fucking back. But all these motherfuckers want to be looking like the people of today and drive around in these George Jetson motherfucking cars. I want to go out and get a Tesla. I want to see what it feels like. Oh, look how super fucking fast it is. Motherfucker, you ain't George Jetson. You can't even afford that shit. Your ass is more like that little fucking kid on George Jetson versus George. You need to go out and get you what you can afford. If you out here getting shit, 
getting ripped off by these motherfucking companies because these ride share companies using you as a cash fucking cow because you got bad credit. You need to snap the fuck out of it. Wake the fuck up. Be like, damn, you right, man. I need to work on my credit. Why the fuck am I renting this fucking Tesla to make sure they corporate credit is good while my credit is still shit and I can't even afford to fix my credit because I'm so busy putting all my profits to this ragged ass motherfucking George Jetson ass car. Fuck this car. Drop that bitch off. Go get something that's worth your time and gas. You sitting in fucking charging lots five hours every two fucking days. If you making $50 an hour driving, that's, it's costing you $250 every two days for real. Because you could have made fucking $50 an hour, $40 an hour. If you can make $40 an hour and you're sitting in charging lots five hours every two days, that's the opportunity of you losing $200. But you like, it only costs me $30 to charge it. No, motherfucker, it costs you $200. Opportunity costs. It costs you $230 because you really did charge the bitch. So you ain't making $40 an hour. You're sitting for a fucking hour. So that $40 is out the fucking window. All that opportunity is gone. You do it again, that 40 is out the window. The opportunity is gone. You do it again, that 40 is out the window. That opportunity is gone. You just spent 200 fucking dollars in opportunity costs fucking around, sitting in this goddamn parking lot charging this shit. Look at that. Dollar 75. He's, that surge died quick as a motherfucker. But motherfuckers got to realize, man, what opportunities they got out there for me. 20 miles for 24 bucks. You got your motherfucking mind. Doubt it, motherfucker. Highly doubt that. So, what what people need to realize is the opportunity cost of having a Tesla, the actual cost of you renting this motherfucking Tesla, and then the fuck around fee. The fuck around fee is them hitting your bank account for eleven hundred dollars every time they fucking feel like it. Not even hitting you up with a message. Hey, is it okay if we charge you an extra five hundred for this? They don't send you a fucking message. They don't give a fuck what you doing. You could be ready to pay for daycare today. You go to your bank account, you got negative $35 in that motherfucker. Like, wait a minute, I have $500 in there. What the fuck happened? Oh, we charged you an extension fee. We didn't hit you up to let you know. We just did it. Once these motherfuckers get your banking information, your credit card information, you are at their mercy. You got their fucking car, you are at their mercy. Hertz is fucking people over, and motherfuckers don't want to admit it because they don't want to look stupid. Well, Hertz ain't fucked me over yet. Look around. The shit's coming your way, motherfucker. Look around, ask around. Ask anybody who's renting from these raggedy bastards what the fuck happens. Ask anybody. And these motherfuckers will tell you, yes, I was standing in line at Walmart about to pay for my shit and my card got declined. I opened my fucking bank account, negative $50. Last charge was a Hertz charge for fucking $711. Why? What happened? I don't know. They won't tell me. Uber won't help me. I'm negative. I had to put the fucking milk back. I'm going home. That's what fucking happens when you fuck with these old raggedy ass fucking scam companies who don't give a fuck about you. That's what happens. And motherfuckers want to pretend, oh no, it's fine. They're good. They're okay. It's all right. You think? You think? Shit. Ask these motherfuckers getting hit for all this money. Gotta call a fucking bank and put in fraud claims just to get their fucking money back from Hertz. They got to put in a fraud claim against the motherfucker they renting a the car from because they stealing money from these motherfuckers. That's not a safe feeling. If a motherfucker got my banking information and I'm doing business with these motherfuckers and I got to keep putting fraud claims on their ass, what the fuck am I doing dealing with them? Think about it. If you willingly wake up every fucking day, let's do that. If you willingly wake up every fucking day, oh, I got to go pick her up at Circle K and drop her off some fucking where and take her back to Circle K. I fucking guarantee. All right, let's go do this real quick and I hit you motherfuckers back up because we going to finish this shit. God damn it. This little Frank situation got me pissed. They fucking with my homeboy, man. They fucking with my homeboy. Hey! Hey! I'm here at this gas station and I just got this ride. It's right across the street from me. So let me go over here. Looks like she's at the mall. Yeah, south side of the mall. So I'm gonna cruise over here and pick her up. Gotta take her about 10 miles for 10 bucks. Like I said, I'm, I'm getting killed on my damn mile. I'm looking for shorter trips, but they ain't giving me no short trips. They give me all these damn, you know, long ass trips tonight. Shit's getting annoying. I mean, my all my appointments are like eight miles for $20, you know, 
seven miles for twenty dollars but they keep giving me these goddamn trips that are long as hell let's just go this way give me all these long ass trips and this shit's getting irritating i'm like dude i don't want to be taking these long ass trips i'm looking for shorter trips so i'm looking for some short bangers 10 15 miles is too much it's too much i'm looking for something that's a little bit different you know what i'm saying i want i want five miles eight dollars five and then get a you know a tip on there maybe a surge on there to turn that five miles to about twelve dollars we could do that I'm, I'm anything that's close five miles for twelve dollars five miles for nine eight dollars seven shit like that because once you get a tip applied or you pick up a surge if you can that's when you start doubling up with that miles per dollar or dollars per mile taking these fucking dollar even trips means for ten dollars a person has to tip me ten dollars to, to double up on that and I don't like putting people up under that much pressure to say, damn, man, I got to tip them 10. I got to tip. No, you know, if you just tip somebody five bucks, but that's only work if you got a five dollar trip and you're going eight miles, then you fucking flip that. And now you're sitting there like, oh, shit. Now you got, you know, ten dollars for that much or 13 for that much. So you cool. But, you know, they got to They got to figure something out. That was a pretty easy trip. Like those guys, he was up from him and his girl came up from the Dominican Republic. They didn't speak a lot of English, so we started talking Spanish a little bit. You know, I blow Spanish un poquito, pero you know, me, me Spanish is, is no es muy bueno. Motherfucker, <laughs> but I can still talk if I can try shit. I'm like, I'll try to make a connection with a motherfucker because that's what I do. But it's like a lot of people don't even like make that attempt to speak another language. And I, I do my best. I'm not, you know gonna say i can carry on a full-blown fucking conversation but i can get a point across and that's basically what we did so he was like laughing and we were having a good time you know playing my shit my bad bunny motherfucker that's always my go-to because i like the vibe i don't understand shit bad bunny is saying but if you listen to it just the vibe the music man just the energy in this shit it's i don't know man i just like even listen to jesse cook jesse cook he's a canadian guitar player but he plays latin music i mean if you listen to jesse cook you'll be like damn man you cook breakfast of this shit I mean, you be in the bathroom getting down. My favorite song, Jesse Cook, Havana. Do me a favor, play Havana. Bet your ass wake the fuck up. You'll be ready to do shit listen to that motherfucker. You'll be trying to find somebody to dance with. You don't give a fuck. You'll grab your kid, your dog, your cat. You'll be like, motherfucker, let's dance. This shit is what's up. Havana's my shit. But that's just me, though, man. Maybe I was a Mexican dude in a, in a fucking former life. I was probably a fucking Spanish conquistador and shit, driving Uber across the fucking ocean on a big-ass boat. Fucking Mayflower. Uber Mayflower, motherfucker. I'll take your ass over there. Okay, I'm chilling in Mesa right now. Like I said, I just dropped off that one uh, ride right there, that 989. Not a single tip tonight. Not a single tip out of three. Fuck that one's at four in the morning. That one don't count. But tonight, three rides, no fucking tip at all. None. So, yeah, these motherfuckers ain't tipping tonight. God damn it. How much have I made today? 52 bucks and four rides. So I'm averaging more than $10 a ride. But I've been online for, what, almost three hours scouting. So in three hours, that's the best they could do with rides. And that's what I use my online time for. How many hours online do I have to be for them to send me some good shit? Like last night, I was online for three hours and 30 minutes for almost 70 bucks. Tonight, almost three hours. And the best they can do is $52 worth of rides that make fucking sense. So my drive time is way less because, like I said, I'm not taking no shit. We should be getting way more rides in less time. I mean, I did four rides in about three hours. I could do four rides in one fucking hour if they were worth something. So apparently these rides ain't worth shit if I'm only taking four in three hours. That lets you know how fucked up these offers are, how fucked up this market is. Because I could do four an hour, but they send in a bunch of whack shit, 50 cent a fucking mile. Arrive four miles away for one fucking mile for three set. Now nah, fuck all that. It, it, I should be able to fucking log a lot more rides in three hours than four fucking rides for 52 bucks. In three hours, I should be at least at about seven. I say seven rides, close, even if I say, you know, about 10, close to 80, 90 dollars. This shit? No. Nah. I'm 40 dollars fucking short, damn near. And that's how these motherfuckers are. They sending out some raggedy ass fucking orders and they expect the people to take this shit. They just dragging it the fuck out. So I'm just, hey, I tell everybody out there, do me a favor, come up with something you can do in a car. Drop, like hook up a fucking GoPro in your car and just watch traffic walk by. 
Watch cars drive by. Watch the highway. Look at fucking coyotes and shit. Find something to do with a fucking GoPro. Stream that shit and make a channel called Uber Driver fucking lame shit. I don't know. Make up a fucking channel. Because this is a bunch of lame shit we gotta do just to make fucking money. Because these apps are lame as a motherfucker. Stream that shit. Stream motherfuckers walking around and riding bikes and shit. Get a lot of advertisers to fucking pay for your channel. They be like, dude, how do you get so much content? Because I ain't doing shit but sitting in my fucking car. Uber ain't sending nothing. Lyft ain't sending nothing. So I hooked up a fucking GoPro and I watched these lazy motherfuckers walk around. And I stream that shit and advertisers pay me because this motherfucker's in Japan, Ukraine, the Czech Republic, motherfucking Lithuania. All these motherfuckers is looking at American videos just to see what it looks like over here. Stream this shit. Show them four fucking cars pass. This is what the cars look like. Three people was fucking walking, riding a bike, walking dogs and shit. This is what goes on. Stream that shit. Guaranteed there's motherfuckers gonna look at that shit somewhere in the world. So you sitting in your car, not doing a fucking thing, except running your camera, recording shit, string all them fucking videos together, put that shit on the channel, and let advertisers post revenue on that motherfucker. And let people in Lithuania and fucking Brazil and goddamn the Sudan and Ghana watch that shit. They're like, what's going on in America? I don't know. Let's go look at this Uber driver. This Uber driver does lame shit fucking channel. And motherfuckers just watch how lame this fucking shit really is. And you'll be getting paid fucking thousands of goddamn dollars while Uber's giving you $52 every three fucking hours for sitting around recording this shit. So you getting paid to record this shit, plus you getting money on top of that. Fuck these motherfuckers. We gotta figure out another way how to make money. Streaming. Every motherfucker in their car should be streaming something. Give a fuck what it is. Stream fucking birds flying. Link all them fucking videos together. Stream fucking all the goddamn stray cats you fucking run across. Link all that shit together. There's a fucking stray cat video I was watching, and that motherfucker be having like 300,000 fucking views. And what the dude did is he hooked the GoPro to a fucking cat and just let the stray cat run around with other stray cats. Shit was funny as hell. And then he set up a stationary camera to watch other stray cats do shit. This motherfucker just set up a camera to watch a, a group of stray cats every day. And this motherfucker is paid thousands of dollars a month for streaming stray cats. Why the fuck can't that be us? We ain't doing shit sitting in these motherfucking cars, watching these lame ass motherfuckers walk around and shit, dropping goddamn backpacks in the street. Run a fucking channel called dropbackpacks.com, motherfucker. I don't know. Look at how many motherfuckers drop their shit. Oh, dropping shit. This is a channel called droppingshit.com. Mother watch motherfuckers just drop shit all the time. And laugh. Stream that shit. Let advertisers pay you sitting in your car not doing a motherfucking thing. Fuck this. Make money on Uber shit. Stream a fucking drive through line. Be like, I'm going to sit next to this drive through and stream all the fucking cars going through line. Motherfucker, advertisers will pay your ass a grip for that shit. Stream how many motherfuckers go through this goddamn traffic light. Stream how many motherfuckers is walking in and out the mall. Guaranteed you're going to make a killing on that shit. We ain't doing shit anyways. Try it. Motherfucker, it hit me up in about two months, Jeff. Won't believe it, but I got 10,000 motherfucking followers in the past month, and I'm making $9,900 a month off streaming motherfuckers walking out of the mall. Thanks for the idea. Appreciate it. That little GoPro I had in my son's room, now I use that motherfucker to make money with. Fuck Uber. Fuck Lyft. These motherfuckers gave us a, a way to create ideas. Because I'm going to tell you right now, when your ass needs something to do, you'll become more fucking creative. And all Uber and Lyft is doing is helping us become more creative as people. We're becoming very creative entrepreneurs. So what I want you motherfuckers to do is get real fucking creative. Get you a camera, get you something, stream something, edit video, start a fucking channel, make tons of fucking money off of advertisers. Ain't nobody got to pay you shit to watch your channel. It's free. Motherfuckers in goddamn Russia watching your channel right now. Bosnia watching your channel. Motherfuckers in Serbia, in Thailand, everybody watching your fucking channel just to see what goes on in America. You're just streaming shit. And advertisers are just paying the motherfuckers to watch it. So advertisers in fucking China is, is paying people to watch that shit. Advertisers in Japan paying people to watch that shit. You ain't doing shit but just streaming video. You're a fucking new TV channel now. Fuck that. We gonna get money. Everybody watching this video, come up with a creative way to stream some shit. Get this fucking money. Fuck these apps.
I decided to stop and take a break, but those are the two ragged ass offers they just tried to send me. $4 for about five miles and then $4 for about six miles. I'm sitting here about to eat me some fucking chocolate. I'm hanging out in my fucking parking lot. About to eat me some goddamn chocolate. I ain't doing shit. I'm watching somebody over there get a DUI. It's fucking, I should stream that shit. DUI streams. People who should have fucking called the Uber stream, goddammit. That's what I'm gonna call it. People who should have called fucking Uber instead of getting a DUI and stream that shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers who ain't that fucking intelligent but think drivers are stupid. Stream that shit. <laughs> Like you could have fucking saved goddamn fifteen thousand dollars plus kept your fucking license if your ass would just call a fucking Uber driver. Everybody out there need to have an Uber driver's fucking number in they goddamn wallet in they phone. Put Uber Vicky, Uber Daniel, Uber Jeff, Uber Carlos, Lyft Larry. Fuck that. And have all that shit in your fucking phone. So instead of you being like that bitch across the street right now getting a DUI checkpoint, you'll be smarter than the average Uber driver and call a fucking Uber driver. But when I see people doing shit like that, they stupid. Like, how the fuck are you going to risk saving $20? Because you can pay fucking Liv Larry $20 fucking dollars. And Liv Larry going to be like, that's better than what I'm fucking getting tonight. You go Uber Ursula. Fucking Uber Ursula might charge you $25. But it's still better than the $15 fucking thousand dollars this bitch across the street about to pay. Plus, she's losing her license. And her car looks pretty new. So she's probably still paying a car note and insurance on a motherfucker. And can't even drive it. Because she could have called Liv Larry. Motherfuckers need to use their goddamn brain. Uber drivers are stupid and not skilled. I'm skilled enough not to sit behind two fucking police SUVs about to get charged 15 grand for a DUI. I'm that fucking skilled. Fuck no, I'm not doing that Bosa Donut shit. Man, fuck that. 10 bucks for that? No. I'm going to sit here and eat my chocolate. Fuck that. I'm going to pretend that I'm Lift Larry. Somebody gonna fucking call me for a ride. Jeff, can you do us a favor and come pick us up so we don't get a DUI? Thanks, Liv Larry. Motherfuckers are crazy out here, man. I'm calling Uber drivers stupid. I be laughing like a motherfucker sometimes. Oh, they jumped it up. Three cent. Nah, I still don't want to take it, though. It's not an order I would do. That's an order for Uber Ursula. Uber eats Ursula. Fucking, I'm Lyft Larry, motherfucker. I drive people tonight. I'm not Uber Eats Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. But, yeah, I'm about to finish eating my chocolate and kick back and relax. They're going to keep sending me shit orders. Like that. That's even worse. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to take me down there to send me two. They was going to probably double stack that motherfucker and not give me no tip. Probably have me do both of them for like $13. <laughs> Fuck them. I ain't paying the fucking donuts. Time to make the donuts looking ass, motherfucker. Get that shit off my screen. These motherfuckers is nuts. Fucking 11 miles each way. That's 22 miles of fucking driving. 11 that way and probably got to turn around and come 11 back. 22 fucking miles of driving for $17. Like, no. Uber Eats can do better than that. You need to find somebody that's closer or get somebody who's willing to fucking, you know, spend a little more on getting their fucking donuts delivered. Because I'm like, fuck that shit, man. That's way too fucking far. Way too far. I gotta wipe my windows off. I don't like fingerprints on my shit. Yeah, but that's what these fucking apps need to do, man. And I got like a little money zone just north of me a little bit. But I'm not driving up there for that shit. They need me, they'll summon me. And they really need me, they'll pay me right. Otherwise, call Lyft Larry and Uber Ursula. Man, that lady, she don't have a fucking bad... They got her ass out there. They got two SUVs. Man, that's fucking crazy. Well, you got to be smarter than the average Uber driver, bitch. <laughs> if we fucking stupid, what does that make you? And I bet the bitch got a real job. All you real job having motherfuckers need to use y'all brains. Stop talking shit about Uber drivers and Russia drivers and, and realize we're here to help you out. Because that real job having ass motherfucker over there could have paid me 10 or $15 and she would have saved 15 grand. Her driver's license wouldn't be paying car insurance and car on some shit that she can't even fucking drive and she'd be able to get to work. Now you know how expensive her life is about to get?
All because she didn't call the unskilled, no skill, having ass Uber driver, need to get real job looking at mother. She fuck that. She should have called one of us. That's what we're here for. We're here to make your life easier. But people like to shit on us and talk shit about us. And this is the fucking boat they end up in. And then they'll be like, now you need to call us, mother. You go from wanting to not call us to needing to fucking call us. That's not a good position to put yourself in. If that's the point you at in life, you made some bad fucking decisions. If you need a motherfucking Uber driver, like need that motherfucker, you've made some bad decisions at some point. You should want to be like, listen, I'm going to leave my motherfucking car here and I'd like to call Lyft Larry. I would love to call that motherfucker to come get us because I do not want to need to have that motherfucker take me to work every day. I don't want to have to have that motherfucker take me home from work every day. I don't want that motherfucker to take me to and from Walmart every fucking day. So I want to call him right now so I don't get a fucking DUI. Call Lyft Larry. But nope. These motherfucking Uber drivers ain't worth shit. You low-skilled having motherfuckers. Fuck y'all motherfuckers. This and that. Next thing you know, they're doing a walk of shame in front of two police SUVs. Thinking, God damn it. <laughs> fucking shit sucks, don't it? Reality sucks. I need to make a whole fucking new YouTube channel called Reality Sucks. And this is all the shit that motherfuckers be talking. Nope, not doing that either. What the fuck is the deal with these dollar amount goddamn Uber, Uber Eats shits? It's like, man, y'all child fucking mind. I told motherfuckers, I'd rather not. I mean, that's why I'm glad I do gig work and not employment, because if a motherfucker told me I had to do that shit as a level of employment, I'd be like, fuck y'all. Like, and it was in my own car on my own gas, and you motherfuckers was paying me? No, nah, fuck that. That's shit for a McDonald's delivery truck. That's not shit for a, a driver, because I'm on my own gas using my own car. That shit's not good for me. So try again. I don't know. Oh, this lady just pulled up next to me. What happened? Uh-oh, here we go. Okay. Um, I think she didn't instruct me. Lana, I just moved here about five months ago. Okay. And I'm lost and I went to Walmart, but I took the wrong turn. I don't know because I panicked because of the freeway thing. So you're looking for Walmart? No, no, I'm trying to. I'm try I came from that place and... um. I need to find, like, um, it's an apartment building, like, um, you know where Evergreen Park is at? Evergreen Park. Or, or maybe you can instruct me where AutoZone, uh, via, what is that, South of the I don't know that street. Is it an AutoZone around here anywhere? I don't know if there's no, an AutoZone. No, it's auto like where, where I'm, you know, I know how to get back from that area. Okay. I'm trying to say. I don't live there, but you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think if there's an AutoZone yeah. even in this area right now. Well, it was over by, what, what's that word, South whatever that leads to Dobson, what's that? Because this is an auto zone. It's by Country Club. And across there's like the first church and then a child abuse center and then across is VSR or South Society. I can't remember. <laughs> it's like shit. All these weird names. Well, this is Dobson right here. Yeah. And that's the thing that kind of scares me because I get confused. So if you life. take Dobson this way, you'll hit like the highway, then you hit Baseline, Guadalupe, all those yeah, streets. Yeah, I don't really want to get that far. Yeah, it's too far. I'm all turned around. Oh. See, if you had ADHD, a... I get a little confused. Like, if it changes too much, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. if you had a, a phone with GPS, it'll be yeah. easy because then you can just type in the fucking, like, where you're going. And then from there, because yeah. do you know where you're going exactly? Yeah. Well, like, the, I, the I actual address? From, from from where um, those are landmarks kind of near me. Okay, okay, uh, but you know That's what I'm saying. I'm not. I don't live at AutoZone, but I mean, it's kind of a few streets down. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do you know what street you're going to? Like the street name? Um, well, I just need to get back to like Country Club. Um, well, Country State Club University is down this Maine. way. Yeah. University in Maine is up that way. Okay. So University in Maine because is up saw, that way. I saw something like those green signs, like the freeways. I usually try to avoid the freeways because. Okay, just kinda... so if you take Dobson right here up this way, you'll hit Maine, then you'll hit University. Oh. You'll hit I both of those. That, but I wasn't sure which one to go. Let's do that. Yeah. So if you go this way, you'll end up hitting uh, University and Maine both. And then if you make a right. Well, I want to get near Country Club. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. If you make a right, you'll hit Country Club. Because Country Club is down that way. Uh -huh. But it's not the way where it leads to bridges. Because it's like towards the tip. I don't want to go that far. No, no, no. Because that's the highway right there. That way, like I said, you hit University and Maine or these two streets up here. Like you hit Broadway first, then you hit like yeah, Maine and University. Broadway, but I don't think that's what I want. Yeah, then you go that way, you'll hit Country Club. But. So, how would you do, go behind Taco Bell then? 
Yeah, well, you got to, yeah, well, where do you get to the front way, but it's getting back, and this happened a while back, and then, yeah, yeah. Well, you just got to take Dobson that way. Like, I'm about to go down Dobson right now, anyways. Actually, I'm headed down to Main Street, Madame. So, if I got to go to Filiberto's over here on Main Street, I'm oh, actually working right so now. This, so, okay. So, um, can I follow you? Is it just there? Because yeah. I saw it on my school, but I don't want to end up on that. That was towards this way, so I was going this way. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I can't remember the street. Yeah, so like I said, once I hit Maine, I got to go to that Filiberto's. But what you can do is you can keep going down Maine. You go across Alma School, then you get the country club that way. Okay. So, okay, so it's just go this way? Yep, yep. And then keep going straight? Okay. Yep, go. yep. Okay. All right, cool, cool. Skirt, skirt. Oh, what the fuck is going on? This motherfucking lady looks homeless as shit, driving a beat up ass Ford Fiesta. Lost like a motherfucker. Don't know where the fuck she's going. And she's talking about following me down by where a country club and shit is. I'm not even going to country club. I'm going to fucking Maine. See, motherfuckers don't realize this is the kind of shit we go through doing ride share. We got to deal with homeless motherfuckers in Ford Fiestas walking up on us, asking us for directions. Motherfucker don't even know a street address. She has no idea where she is. No idea where the fuck she is. You got a street? Well, I just know there's an auto zone. Okay, motherfuckers, 80,000 auto zones. Well, there's a church and there's a motherfucker. I don't go to church, motherfucker. So you telling me shit that I don't even need to know. I have no idea where you could tell me I'm standing in the church parking lot. I wouldn't even be able to fucking tell you. I mean, I fucking pulled over in a goddamn police parking lot to get weed out my car and not even realizing I was at the fucking police station. I have no idea where the fuck I am sometimes, lady. You probably talking to the wrong motherfucker for directions. I'm notorious on my videos going, okay, where am I at? Where? And you walk up talking to me? Motherfucker, I don't even know where the fuck I'm at. I'm like, okay, where am I at? And this bitch walk up, can you help me find my motherfucker? I'm lost with you, bitch. I'm about to find you. Motherfucker, I'm finna follow your motherfucking ass. Where the fuck you going, bitch? I'll just follow you around. I I don't know where I am. You don't know where you are. Let's just fucking bust a block. Fuck this shit. We just keep following each other in the fucking circle. Fucking walk up asking me, do you know where I'm at? And she ain't gave me no street name. She ain't gave, she just keep telling me shit. Well, country club, okay, country club is over there. Well, I don't want to go to country club. Okay, cool. Where are you trying to get to? Well, I'm trying to get to country club. Motherfucker, I just told you country club. Well, I'm not trying to, because if I go to country club, then I know I'm going too far. I'm trying to get over to the highway, but I don't want to take the highway. Okay, well, the highway is that way. I'm, I'm trying to get to country club. Bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? You fucking me up now. Now I'm lost, bitch. I don't even know where the fuck I'm at. I'm like, okay, which way is country club? I'm trying to get to Maine and University. Well, I'm finna go up on Maine right now. You going the front way or the back way? Bitch, I'm just driving down the street. What the fuck you talking about? We on trails and shit now? The fuck is wrong with you, lady? She's still behind me in her little four fucking Fiesta. She would jet out on this bitch in a Beamer. <laughs> fucking take off on her motherfucking ass. She be scared as motherfucker. Now I'm, oh shit. Now a train is coming. So she's really going to be behind me for a fucking minute. Yeah, but I'm like, man, this is the kind of shit we deal with in fucking ride here. This bitch straight up trying to ask me questions. Like, like I look like Mr. Map. Motherfucker, do I look like Where's Waldo or some shit? She walk, I'm in my beam eating fucking chocolate fucking granola bars and shit. She walk up, hey, can you tell me where I'm at? Like, bitch, what are you talking about? I don't know where the fuck I'm at. Well, I'm trying to get the country club. I'm like, oh, fuck, here we go. Here we go with this shit, the country club shit. Yeah, I'm going to take Main Street because I was, and actually I was going to try to cut down this side street to get there where they're telling me to go. I'm not doing that. Cause it looks like a fucking back way and this bitch gonna be like hey you're going the back way <laughs> it's like no i'm just following my map motherfucker so i'm gonna take main street so she don't think i'm going some fucking back way i knew there was a fucking back way no bitch it ain't the back way it's just a street it's fucking maps this ain't no trails and shit like we going around the mountains and creeks and shit i was following this guy one day and he took me around the back way no bitch it's an uber map i don't know what the fuck you talking about tell you man the shit we deal with in fucking ride chair man but she's still behind me she got her motherfucking sun visor push down on her front window like her sun visor like the big things you put on to keep the sun out your fucking car is shoved down in her between her windshield and her dashboard i'm like why don't you just take that motherfucker out and put it in the trunk until the sun comes up why are you driving around with that motherfucker all scrunched down in between your window and your fucking dashboard that that shit don't make sense to me what if this motherfucker was just to pop up while you was driving and you go blind like a motherfucking rear end some fucking body this is the shit we deal with in ride chair motherfuckers ain't gotta be joking when i be like you hey, Homeless people walk up and just start talking to them. I must look either friendly as a motherfucker or I look like quasi homeless too. Homeless motherfucker in the Beamer. It's possible, trust me. Think it's not, motherfucker. It's very possible a homeless motherfucker could have a nice car. Probably living in that motherfucker. But the point, man, is like I said, this lady, she's stressing me to fuck out. Because she's she trying to get somewhere and I have no idea what she's trying to get to. 
Cause she done told me she's trying to go east, but she's not trying to go east, but she's trying to go west. So I tell her go west. She want to go west, but she can't go west because she don't want to go south, but she can't go west. She can't go east. Okay, then I'm going to go north because I got to go to fucking Filiberto. So I'm going to go north and get these fucking tacos and shit. And then you gonna have to go west. Well, I'm trying to go west, but I don't want to go west. Bitch, it's not about where you want to go. Where are you trying to get to? What's your street address? What is a church? Some motherfucking auto zone? It's a child daycare center. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about now. No idea. Like, I'm not Mr. MapQuest, motherfucker. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't know where there's a church, an auto zone, and a child care center? Bitch, my kids is 21 and 15. What the fuck I need child care for? I'm not just driving around looking for child care facilities walking in. Hey, can I get an application for you guys' child care services? Oh, that's great. How old are your children, sir? 21 years old and 15. The fuckers look at me like, what? What the fuck is wrong with your kids? They don't know how to watch they self. Well, I'm just driving around looking for child care service places in case a motherfucker run up on me in a parking lot saying, hey, you know what this child care service place is? Why the fuck would I know? <laughs> These motherfuckers are know. Who the fuck walks up to you at 12 o'clock at night asking if you know where some child care services buildings in the church is? Like, bitch, it is not Sunday and I don't have kids. Why are you asking me these questions? Then she, uh, the auto zone, I can see. I probably look like a motherfucker that work on a car. So I can see the auto zone. But the other shit, law, you gotta be fucked up. You better off asking me where a fucking nursery is. Where's a nursery around here so I can grow some new plants? I look like a fucking farmer? <laughs> How the fuck you ask me for a fucking nursery? I'm looking to germinate some seeds. Okay, motherfucker, whatever. <laughs> motherfucker, who even says the word germinate? I'm trying to germinate some seeds and germinate some plants. To grow me a new hybrid. Okay, motherfucker, whatever. Whatever. And I just knew, luck of the fucking draw, I'd be stuck in these motherfucking train tracks with goddamn door to fucking explorer behind me. It's like, shit, her fucking ass. She, she has no idea the fuck she's going right now. She's just trying to be any fucking where, man. I got it. I don't know. This is my motherfucking night. This is what I get for leaving the fucking house. For real, this is what I get for leaving the house. I should have stayed my ass at home tonight. <laughs> Motherfuckers always out in these fucking streets. Jeff, what you getting into tonight? You don't even want to know, bro. Trust me, you don't want to know. You finna go out and do Uber? Hopefully, but you don't want to know. And now I'm in the wrong fucking lane because I got to get the fuck over. Yeah, exactly. I got to get over to the next fucking lane and the train just fucking went. I got to make a right, but I'm, I'm going to try to make it all the way up to fucking, you know, Main Street before I make the right turn. So let's see, where are we going? All right. Come on, lady, you gotta dry that piece of shit. All right. All right, I got Dory the Explorer behind me. Oh, let's go. Yeah, she's turning there and I'm turning up here. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I got that fucking Geo Tracker out the fucking way. Who even drives a Geo Tracker? I'm surprised that motherfucker's still even running. Oh, shit. Here comes Door the fucking Explorer. She found her way through traffic and worked across. I swear to God, if I get the motherfucking Filibertos and this bitch gets out the fucking car, oh, this is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. Should I keep the recording going? Somebody say, nah, I'm just fucking with you because you can't say it because by the time this shit happens, this is gonna be already posted on fucking YouTube. It ain't like I'm live, motherfucker. Shit. It's like, should I fucking keep my recording going? Motherfuckers be like, Jeff, get the fuck out the car and run from this bitch. Yeah, hopefully she oh you bet she's fucking following me you're fucking kidding me bitch i gotta work what the fuck you doing oh she is out her motherfucking mind i gotta work man this was fucking nuts this bitch really followed me in the fucking filibertos parking lot oh man i gotta fucking work this is fucking crazy right here you are fucking kidding me you gotta be kidding me Oh, man. This shit. I gotta get out, man. I'm gonna leave this shit recording. Hold up. Oh, because this is main right here, so you want to keep going that way. Okay, keep going that way? Yep, yep. You're not gonna leave the freeway, right? No, no, no. The freeway's are way down there. Okay. Yeah, you'll be going that way down there. Yep. Zone, you know, because we've been and got some, some reports, but that's kind of near, you know, the landmarks nearby. Okay. So is that going to lead to it, do you think? Yeah, that should down there, because you'll find all the streets. Probably about two, three miles of that. So I could go out here? 
Thank you. Yep, yep, you can head out that way. Thank you. All right, no problem. Okay. Right. Uh, you yep, you're going straight down oh, no, that way. Hand. Yeah, well, you're going to make a uh, right. Oh, excuse me. I'm here to pick up for Vanessa. 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 All right, that's it. Thank you so much. Oh, some crazy shit. That bitch straight followed me to my job. Bitch, I work at Filiberto's. Why you follow me to my job? Bitch, I work at Filiberto's. This fucking crazy ass lady with a fucking sun visor in the front of her car at midnight is following me around. Bitch, I work at Filiberto's. No, I don't work at no fucking Filiberto's. But if I did, you know, this is the shit. Like I said, most of these women that, like I said, I'm doing food delivery right now. Women drivers who choose to drive at night. Now, imagine that was a fucking old ass man, you know, lost. Where the fuck is this bitch going? Oh, Lord. She had done stopped in the middle of the fucking street. I'm getting the fuck out of here. This bitch is crazy. She stopped in the middle of the street. She's fucking crazy. I'm the fuck out of here, man. And I, then when I leave, I got to sit at this motherfucking light. So hopefully that bitch don't come running up to my fucking car. Oh, I'm not doing that one either. This is fucking nuts. This lady really, really fucking just stopped in the middle of Main Street. This is Main Street. Did she drive off? Yeah, she's gone now. Woo, man. That shit's fucking crazy. So her monkey ass seriously sat there, followed me up to fucking Filiberto's. Now, if, it was a, if this was a guy and I was a female driver, you'd be thinking some shit was about to go down. Like, this motherfucker's following me because he's about to try some shady shit. He finna try to kill me or something. But this lady, she was, you know, y'all heard the motherfucker on the phone. She was all, yeah, yeah, my, my, my ADHD, you know, this and that. And I know where I am, but I don't know where I am. And I'm kind of lost, but I'm not really lost. It's like, bitch, you truly do got ADHD. Because I ain't never heard the motherfucker negate they self every fucking sentence they say. I'm trying to get somewhere, but I'm not trying to go nowhere. Like, what the fuck are you talking? Bitch, you negate everything you say. It's nighttime, but it's daytime, but it's at night. Okay, whatever, bitch, whatever. I have no idea what to even say to this lady. I'm just like, do I go left or do I go right? Would you go down this street this way? You'd go to, I'm pointing down a fucking street. You can only really go one way. Would you go down this, okay, is that left or is that right? It doesn't make a difference, bitch, is where I'm pointing. Is that way, motherfucker. I ain't got to tell you left or right. I'm pointing which way you fucking go. You go down this street that way. Okay, well, is that left or is that right? Does it make a fucking difference? It's where my finger is pointing. Get the fuck out of my face. These people are crazy, man. We got to deal with this shit all night. And it's like, Uber be like, we're going to give you 50 cent a mile. You give me 50 cent a mile to deal with this level shit right here. This is the shit I got to fucking deal with. And you're going to give me 50 fucking cent a mile. And you're going to hold my motherfucking tips. And this is the shit I got to deal with. This bitch could have fucking tried to stab me or anything. I don't fucking know. She followed me to fucking Filiberto's. Motherfuckers don't follow people to Filiberto's. That's not what you do. If I give you instructions at fucking Circle K, then the instruction has been given. You follow the instructions. She was like, I was like, well, I'm going to go up the main street and I'm going to turn right here. And once I turn, you just keep going straight. The bitch followed me to Filiberto. She didn't keep going straight. She straight followed me into that motherfucker. This is my life, man. I'm telling you, man, this shit's crazy. Shit's crazy. But like I said, I, I shook that shit. I'm going to go deliver this fucking food to goddamn Vanessa, man. It's like, woo, shit. King James, man, I hope you're having a better night than me, motherfucker, I swear. Because I'm out in this bitch fucking educating homeless people and every fucking thing. I, I'm like Magellan in this motherfucker tonight. Uber Magellan, Uber Columbus, motherfucker. I need an Uber Columbus fucking surge tip on this motherfucker. I help people with directions tonight, Uber. Can you give me the Uber Columbus bonus? Fuck that shit. <laughs> fuck it. The Santa, the Nina, the Nina Perina, the, the Mayflower, whatever the fuck them ships is called. The Santa, the Pina, whatever. I can't remember the fucking names. Pinata, fucking ships and shit. Whoops. Okay, I just dropped that food off real quick. So now I don't know what the fuck is next. I have no doubt. So two forty eight plus the rest must have been tip, like seven dollar tip. I swear to God, Uber, if you fucking tip bait me, you son of a bitches, I'm gonna be mad as a motherfucker. Let's open this shit and see what the fare was. That that was the base probably two forty eight. Let me go up in this motherfucker real quick. Let's take a look and see what they fucking did. Now, all right, so about seven dollar tip. Okay, cool, cool. I see what you. I see what you're doing. Took me 17 minutes, three miles, nine bucks. I like it. I can feel it. I like it. Let me open up this shit real quick. More details. Bam. 
customer price, service fee. So maybe they'll give me the fucking tip in a second. All right, let's see what Uber is trying to send now. 562 for that? No, nah, I'm cool on that shit. It's probably that fucking lady. She probably lost like a motherfucker. Like, I'm just going to take an Uber. I'm like, no. Nah. Fuck it. I'll take this. I'm going back south anyways. I'm going to go pick this motherfucker up. And then I'll go south a little bit. Jordan, yeah. I don't think that lady looked like Jordan. So most likely it's not her. Okay, I just dropped Jordan off. And I'm sitting right next to the very first apartment that I lived in when I moved to fucking Mesa. I dropped him off in those apartment complexes right there. That's my apartment right there. My motorcycle used to park right there. I know you motherfuckers are like, Jeff, we can't see what you're talking about. You're just saying right there. Trust me on this one, motherfucker. Oh, they got little lights outside now? Little light poles lighting up the sidewalk? Oh, you, you motherfuckers fancy over in this motherfucker. Hell yeah. Because y'all didn't have them motherfuckers there when I lived here. It was just straight sidewalk and you had to know where the fuck you was walking. These motherfuckers got little lights and shit now. Like, that's what's up. But I gotta go pick up Aurora. Ten bucks, I accepted this real quick. Man, they got lights everywhere. But this is what he said. When I stayed here, the apartment was like, I think it was A75, and all the shit come out to be like 900 something dollars. 900 bucks. One bedroom, one bath. 900 bucks. He said, right now, the same shit. It's $1,400. It's $500 a month more. That's $6,000 a year more. Six G's a year more to live here. That's fucking crazy. That's and these fucking apartments, trust me, they had some nice shit in there. The floors was nice, the kitchens was nice, the rooms and everything was upgraded. The you know, they got a nice little barbecue area, the swimming pool area, shit like that. But one bedroom for fifteen hundred, fourteen hundred fucking dollars. I'm looking at this shit like motherfucker, my whole house cost that much. And I got everything at my house. Than what these apartments got but it's all mine this is fucking crazy what these people are doing to renters man this shit should be illegal these motherfuckers don't own these apartments like you're renting it it's not yours when you take everybody's fucking money out of their pocket to where they ain't got no more fucking money left how can they get out of poverty how can you get out of debt if you're taking everybody's fucking money i'm like they don't have shit left they're working just to keep a roof over their motherfucking head. There is no enjoyment, entertainment, no savings, no investing. It's like I'm just paying shit to keep this fucking roof over my head to keep me from being kicked out on that fucking grass outside. Because otherwise, if I don't pay this fucking money, I'm living where those fucking lights got put down. All my shit going to be out there when I get home. This is fucking crazy. Renters are getting raped. And this shit's insane. You sit up there and say, you tell me that out of all the... And this is what they tell motherfuckers. Your rent can't be more than X amount of dollars of your annual income. They say shit like that. Then they let you in the door. Then they jack your motherfucking rent up. Well, now my rent exceeds that percentage you was talking about, motherfucker. You got me in this bitch. But now all of a sudden my rent is now way over that little fucking percentage you was talking about. And ain't nobody making that much more in income right now. So they must not be using that percentage no more. Whatever it is, a third of your, you can't, your rent has to be less than a third of your income. Some crazy shit like that. I don't fucking remember what it was. But it's like, if all the rent prices are going up, but nobody's salaries and wages are going up, how in the fuck is this equation working out? It doesn't work out. The equation was put there to help people budget their money and live where they're, like, afford where they could live and shit. That's why the equation was put there, to help fucking people. They said, fuck the equation, rob these motherfuckers. You want to live here? You can live here. What about the equation? Fuck the equation. Can you pay this much? Yeah, but I ain't going to be able to buy a car. I don't give a fuck if you buy a car or not. I ain't going to be able to have no savings. I don't give a fuck if you got savings or not. I might not be able to pay daycare. I give a fuck if you pay daycare or not. Can you live here? Yeah, 1400 Same shit used to cost me 900 How the fuck you do that? That shit don't make no sense. Motherfucker's salary didn't jump up $500 a month over the past few years. Anybody got a $6,000 a year fucking raise just out of the blue? We don't give you extra six G's a year. Why? Eh, just because you can make sure you, you can afford your rent. We're going to give you an extra six G's a year on your salary. Okay, cool. No problem. You used to make $50,000 a year. You now make $56,000. We're going to give you a fucking 12% 12, 12 fucking raise. We're giving you a 12% raise this year to keep up with inflation. You used to make 50000 now you make 56000 You can afford that apartment now. You'll be living the same. They ain't telling nobody that. These people don't give a fuck about you to that degree. 
They'll keep your ass working, working double time, overtime, reduce fucking time, increase fucking time, upside down time, fill a shit fucking time. It's like, man, I'll take your shift. Take it, motherfucker, shit. They'll do whatever the fuck they can do to keep your ass working. But rent that shit? Man, I swear to God, these motherfuckers better hope I never become president. But they got us to the point where we continuously owe a motherfucker. We never live a free life. We live in this country from the time we're born to the time we die, owing a motherfucker. And they say this is the land of the free. Shit, where? Bitch, where is that motherfucking shit? Bitch, where? Where the fuck is it free? If you owe a motherfucker from the time you born, you in debt. To the time you die, you in debt. When the fuck did it become free? At what point was I living in the land of the free? Now you living in the land of the motherfuckers that fuck you over for free. That's where you living. Because they've been doing that shit for a long motherfucking time. Let me go pick up Aurora's motherfucking ass because me and her are going to have a talk about this shit. I'm going to see if this motherfucker's renting or if she owns some shit. We finna have a chat. And we might go drive by our motherfucking landlord house and renegotiate this motherfucking rent contract. <laughs> yeah, that little kid of work, he was pretty cool, man. He was a cool kid. Uh, his family, they actually buy and sell cars. They flip cars. And so, because on a pull up, I see all these cars. Like, damn, man, I got a lot of cars. Like, yeah, we flip cars or whatever. Nice car, Infinities, you know, Lexuses, nice little SUVs and shit like that. And I'm like, man. And he's like, yeah, you know, that black one, they just got me that black one so I could just kind of cruise around town and stuff like that. I was like, man, that car is nice as hell. And this is like a little kid. But that's what his family does, you know what I'm saying? They buy and sell cars. So I'm like, man, shit. So hopefully, you know what I'm saying, I'll run into them again. I know that they live in Mesa. I know where they live or whatever. So I can always go and be like, hey, man, if you guys ever need a mechanic just to kind of go over a car with you guys, you know, it's, it's a little business I can do for you guys. We can we can talk shop, man. And especially if they need weld work, it's like, well, you know, this panel is kind of fucked up. I can cut that panel out, re-weld the new panel in there, sand it down smooth, paint that shit. You'll never know fucking as a replaced panel. That's what we do, man, as mechanics. We help people the fuck out. But I love meeting people like that, man. And so that was what the 1045 cool cool six miles nice and these motherfuckers ain't tipping tonight that was from last night i ain't got a single motherfucking tip tonight these bunch of cheap fucking bastards out in this motherfucker tonight i'm gonna tell you this wednesday i'm gonna call this wealth wednesday where motherfuckers don't tip you wealth wednesday nights Welcome to the Uber Jeep AZ Wealth Wednesday Nights, where these cheap motherfuckers refuse to tip. <laughs> they fucking holding that money. I'm going to hold this money and buy me some fucking ice cream in the morning, Jimmy. Man, you be on tip your motherfucking driver, you cheap bastard. But whatever, whatever. I'm just cruising tonight, man. I don't give a fuck no more at this point. We all know these apps fucking with us and stuff like that. I'm not even making $10 a fucking ride right now. Shit. These motherfuckers, four hours, ten minutes. I've been online riding around, and these motherfuckers can't even come up with a hundred dollars worth of good rides. The most they can come up with is sixty-eight dollars worth of good rides in a four-hour fucking span. These motherfuckers, man, they fucking nuts. That's why I'm like, man, I Uber and Lyft, they got they got some fucking work to do, seriously, because we know that they're making profits now, which is cool. We want them to make profits, but they're doing that shit at our expense. They're stealing tips and shit from us. They're shorting us on fucking fares. We're not dumb fucking drivers. We know what the fuck is going on. So, I don't know, man. Everybody out there better be ready for a fucking financial pivot to be like, this is what I'm doing to kind of make a little money while ride share is fucked off. Because as soon as the school year gets back in and all these motherfuckers, everybody doing their regular shit again, this and that, this and that. I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of these motherfuckers, no bullshit, are going to be like, well, I was making so much money over the summer, I think I'm going to go back to doing ride share because it's paying me more than this damn traditional job. Guaranteed. I can't tell you how many people I've met that tell me, oh, I used to, what happened? Oh, I started doing ride share and I thought, man, I'll make more money if I just do ride share full time. Well, I hope you're doing it the smart way, motherfucker, not the dumb way. I welcome everybody to the ride share equation, but you've got to do it smart. You cannot do it stupid. If you do it smart, you're helping out the community of ride share. If you're doing the stupid way, you fucking up the community of ride share. That's the difference. I don't mind smart drivers. Smart drivers help the economy. These dumb motherfuckers out here, they watering this shit down and got these motherfuckers sending us 50 cent a mile fucking rides and shit. 
That's not how we roll, man. That's not how we fucking roll. So I'm trying to get up here right now and sit at this fucking Circle K up here. Because I got to pour me some more juice. I'm out of juice in the front, but I bring my juice in the back, though. I got a container that's got all my juice and my cooler and everything back there. Because I'm like I said, I'm not going to be sitting up here going to these motherfucking gas stations every night paying, you know, $5 for two. I mean, you do that shit, what, five days a week? That's $25 a week you spending on goddamn juice. $25 a month you spending on fucking juice. You know what I do? I buy these little packet boxes for like two bucks a box. And they send you 10, 12 packets in that motherfucker. Each packet, you mix that shit with water. So I use my juice bottles and I just fucking mix a juice bottle full of fucking water. I got the water softener shit at the house. So I'm just drinking fucking juice water all the fucking time. That's it. It's like little juice packet bottles. But it's, that saves me a ton of fucking money a month because I'm not spending no hundred dollars a fucking month on goddamn juice driving around these fucking streets. And that's only in like five hours I drink a couple of them. But if I'm working longer days, you know, eight hours, nine hours, ten hours, are oh, you really talking about spending ten dollars a day on fucking juice? You spending ten bucks a day on fucking juice? That's fifty dollars a week. That's two hundred dollars a month you spending on fucking juice. Who the fuck is spending two hundred dollars a month on drinking fucking juice? That's the weirdest shit I ever fucking heard. If you don't fucking get your business level together, understand where the fuck these profits need to be. You go out and buy you some drink packets, mix you some drink packets with some fucking water, mix that shit up, and just keep doing it. Like I said, I go to the fucking trunk. When I need some juice, I just pop my motherfucking trunk. You know how most motherfuckers in the hood be like, dog, don't let me go to the trunk. I'm going to go and get this motherfucking Mossberg. I'm going to fucking get your motherfucking ass. Don't let me go to the trunk. I'm like, motherfucker, don't let me go to the trunk. I'm going to get this goddamn cherry, strawberry, kiwi, vanilla, and I'm going to drink this motherfucker. And when I get enough energy, I'm going to whoop your motherfucking ass. You better watch out. Because I'm full of motherfucking kiwi, strawberry right now. And I'm going to whoop somebody's ass. God damn it. You don't even know. I got this goddamn strawberry pomegranate. I'm going to whoop your ass with some strawberry pomegranate. I don't got no fucking gun in the trunk. I got motherfucking juice in the trunk. Like, motherfucker, I'm OG. More like OJ, old juice. <laughs> Give me a chocolate bar while I'm at it. I'll save money like a motherfucker. Either I'm drinking juice out the trunk or I'm eating chocolate out the trunk. No matter what, save your motherfucking money. Be smart when you do this shit. Uh, where am I at? Four bucks. King James was over there the other night. Said they was doing some nice rides over there. Nice. And this motherfucker, King James was over there the other day. He fucking hit this fucking ride up. <laughs> Let me show you what he did. This is what I mean. King James is a smart motherfucker. Let me show you what this motherfucker did right here. He said, see if I can make this cash. He be telling me where all the fucking good rides and shit be at. But this motherfucker did this shit. I was like, you bullshitting. Look at this shit. King James ain't no fucking joke. He ain't no motherfucking joke. And he got a tip on that shit. The upfront was 4306. He got 4636. You know why? Because this motherfucker knows how to drive. King James be out there doing his mother. And that was at 523 p.m. I was probably asleep like a motherfucker at the time or just waking up. And this motherfucker was hitting them, hitting them. King James don't fucking play. Y'all like y'all motherfuckers don't see him in the comments a lot because this motherfucker be out there networking and navigating. He be out there trying to get this fucking money. He don't be playing with these fucking people. He's like, motherfucker, I will take a one mile ride for damn near 50 fucking dollars. How? Because he knows what the fuck he's doing. This is the kind of shit they be trying to send right now. This shit right here. I was like, yeah, okay. Not fucking happening. That's north, seven miles north. And then I'm going to take a two and a half mile trip to the east. Yep, to the no, to the west a little bit. For six bucks. Fuck that. He says, the request is no longer available. Hopefully, it comes back for a little more than that. Like, if it comes back for, like, $10. But six bucks? Nah, fuck all that. Do a quick test real quick. Now, the motherfucker, I just accepted this ride at $4.80. And it was, like, two miles away for a one-mile ride. Total three miles for, like, $4.80. Cool, no problem. As soon as I started driving, he updated it just with a stop. I don't know where the stop is, but it jumped to seven dollars i have no idea where the stop is it didn't tell me where the stop was so i was doing four like three miles for 480 
So now let's see what am I gonna do for this fucking seven miles. Like I said, normally I wouldn't take the shit, but I ain't doing shit else right now. So I'm gonna see exactly how many miles I'm gonna go to make this fucking seven dollars. Cause I was doing better than a dollar a mile. Better than a dollar a mile. Well, I accepted this motherfucker. Two miles to, and with a one mile trip for 480 and that shit jumped to seven dollars and 13 cents for lord knows what the fuck right now keep in mind no matter what they show the miles on this fucking trip when i ended i was already two miles away from his ass from the get-go so add two miles to that motherfucker so whatever i'm fucking doing better be less than five miles because if it's five miles and that means i just went seven miles i got a dollar a mile if it's more than five miles of what I'm doing with this stop shit and everything, then that means I got fucked with him adding a stop after I accepted the trip. That means I really got less than a dollar a fucking mile when I was doing so much better before he added this fucking stop. I don't know where the stop is or where it's going. The apps don't tell you that shit. And that's what pisses me off. They should give you a fucking map. As soon as it say added, a map should pop up to show you where the fucking stop is, the new mileage, and the new amount for that mileage. They should show that shit. They should show it. But they don't. And that's why most of the times we kick this shit out because we don't got time for the fuckery. We don't have time for that shit. Okay, so I just dropped off Brian and friend. And the trip actually was only three miles total. So I was two miles away three mile trip that's all it was right there now the deal was that i didn't want it to be like a five mile trip because then that would have put me at evenly at a dollar a mile i did not want a five mile trip perfect they were two miles under my fucking cutoff two miles under because i two miles to get to them three miles made it a five mile trip total if it was a five mile trip it would have been two miles five seven mile total i did not want a seven mile total so we came out pretty good. We came out okay. Like I said, one guy dropped him off at home and had to go around the corner, drop the other guy off. So it wasn't as bad as it could have been. So I'm kind of happy about that shit. But I'm cruising right now almost back to where I was because it's about that time of night to where motherfuckers are leaving bars and shit. And that's kind of like the area where I picked them up from was the bar area. So I'm gonna head back here with this North Gilbert Road. I'm gonna make that left turn and head back up that way because that's where I picked those guys up from. And like I said, I'm not really in a rush to get nowhere. You know, it, let me see how much money did I make so far today? 83, all right, so I'm averaging what? So my average is up, all right, bet, bet. Oh, hold up, somebody must have tipped me because that tip's at $10, hold the fuck up, wait a minute, let me go up in this motherfucker right here. We having a party up in this motherfucker, who tipped me? Oh, oh, that was that delivery. Thank you, bam, bam. I love it. I love it. My only tip for the night was a delivery. That's why I be saying delivery can whoop the shit out of us. Because look at that. 996 for 1.5 miles. You can't tell me delivery cannot beat the shit out of ride share. Delivery is high, highly profitable when you get good shit. And you ain't driving no fucking words. So you ain't using no gas. You basically going around a corner dodging homeless motherfuckers from following you and shit that they don't know where the fuck they at. That's basically all you doing with ride with delivery. Ride share, you gotta add miles around. You gotta, you know, look for short bangers all the fucking time. A short banger with ride share with delivery is easy. Short bangers with delivery is easy. Them short bangers with ride share, man, it, it's getting more and more complicated to do because a lot of people are on that shit right now, which is cool. Because that means we got a lot of smart ass drivers out there, which helps the community. Like I tell motherfuckers, I'm not mad when I see drivers being smart and winning. I'm mad when I see drivers being stupid because then we all losing. I'd rather everybody be smart and everybody win that way. But the moment these dumb motherfuckers start taking every goddamn ride they throw out there, we all fucking sink in a hole. And that's what I don't like. So I'm, I'm glad to see a lot of short rides, you know, being harder and harder to get. Because that's letting me know the long rides are easy. They throw long rides up all the fucking time. Because nobody want those motherfuckers. They show up in trip radar all because people are too smart. Long rides are made to get across town. That's it. They're not made to do all fucking day. Like I said on my last video, you can fuck around, do too many long rides, and it fucks up your flow. Then you're sitting around like, damn, how the fuck did I get caught up doing all of this shit? Because you fucked up. You fucked up. You should have did more short rides. Man, it is empty as a motherfucker through here. Okay, I guess it's not banging the night down here. 
Guess it's not bang a bang a chicken fang a motherfucker. She. So what I'm gonna end up doing is probably going up here. There's a little circle case sitting up here, and there's nobody out tonight. It's a motherfucking Wednesday night. Everybody's probably ramping up for this weekend and shit. I'm gonna go up here, kick back for a second, relax, and see if I can't. Wait a minute. Can I turn in here? Yeah, I'm gonna turn right here. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can't fucking somehow generate a fucking ride here pretty soon. Because somebody's got to fucking be ready to go somewhere at any fucking moment. Oh, let me cruise right about here. Yeah. But we'll find out. We'll find out. Ooh. All right. Okay. I'm going to sit here, park here for a second. Get out. Fucking stretch my legs. Ooh. Like I said, whoops. All right, I got my reservation coming up here pretty soon. I just did a quick drop real quick. Uh, that was that, let me go back here. That was that little 658. I was sitting out at the gas station down in Mesa and I got a trip shooting me right up the street. It's only six miles, but it got me closer to my reservation because my reservation is right up about, let me see where 78 Street at. Uh, somewhere over here. All right, my reservation is right up over here. I think it's straight up this street here, right up in this area, or where it says like Camelback Road. This is where my, it's 78th Street is all I know. Where's 78 at? Whatever. Anyways, because these motherfucking streets don't want to light up. Oh, there it is, 82nd, shit like that. All right, then that's, let me first over at 78. So I'm right up in this area right here, 78th Street. So this is where my appointment is right here, where it says 78th Street. And this is where I am sitting right there so i took this quick ride up now this motherfucker swear man people pick him up dude's kind of cool going to work no big deal i said hey man you going to work yeah going to work this and that just walk up to the car get in motherfucker quiet don't say two fucking words the whole time i don't care you ain't gotta talk to me i know a lot, a lot of motherfuckers like to wake up and go straight to work or whatever that's cool because it's like he just woke up he's going to work he's not happy that's why i like doing motherfuckers that gotta go to work in the morning because usually these motherfuckers are not happy people but you don't wake the fuck up and go to work without taking a shower you cannot fucking tell me you just woke up you on your way to work and you didn't jump your funky fucking ass in the bathtub i mean this motherfucker right now like as soon as i stopped this recording Cause my next appointment until like 3:20, so I got time. I'm finna get my my leather cleaner and all my shit to make sure this motherfucker smells fresh. This motherfucker smells like sautéed onions or some shit. This motherfucker smells like he slept in sweat. And I'm like, how the fuck you gonna sit up there and go take your little funky ass to work, walking around all these people, finna get hot as a motherfucker for eight nine hours in this motherfucking desert sun, and you smelling like fucking turtle nuts and fucking raccoon balls? What the fuck is wrong with you, man? People need to learn how to wake up and clean, man. Hygiene. And he's a young brother too, man. And I, you know, I be on my son's cases like a motherfucker about hygiene. Because the worst you can do is be a funky motherfucker. That's the worst thing you can do. Because people do not like to be offended by other people's fucking smell. It's offensive. Give a fuck what you say. It's offensive. If you don't like it, motherfucker, don't offend me and I won't speak up on the shit. But when you smelling like that, I know you can smell yourself. I mean, unless your motherfucking nose just don't work, you got damn cells in your nose, don't fuck, something's wrong with your ass. Because if you walking up to the car and the moment you get in this motherfucker, I can start smelling you like that? Oh, I've been riding with the AC on all day. I let both fucking front windows down like halfway. Fuck it. Motherfucker, it's kind of hot outside. It's 97 degrees outside. I'm back here cooking this motherfucker because you stink. It's a goddamn shame your grown motherfucking ass jump up and don't think about jumping in the tub, washing your motherfucking balls and under your fucking arms. Should be no fucking reason why you smell like that as a grown ass fucking man. And motherfuckers, every time I drive to work, it's like, oh man, you smell so nice. What are you wearing? You smell so nice. Motherfucker, I just take showers. Is this so goddamn critical these days that all I do is take a fucking shower and bitches be like, damn, you smell amazing. Oh my God, you smell so good. Oh, you smell so fresh. Oh my God, what are you wearing? Bitch, it's called soap. I mean, it's old school shit, soap. I don't know what the fuck to fucking tell you. But it's just like, no wonder. Because this motherfucker's like this walking around all fucking day. Smell like fucking nuts and Frito cheese and shit, man. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, people, man? Take a fucking shower. 
As soon as you wake the fuck up, brush your teeth, take a fucking shower, then start your day. Don't wake up and start looking for shit to wear. You funky motherfucker, do not look for nothing to wear until you done jumped in the fucking tub. Don't look for nothing to eat. Don't look on your fucking Facebook. Don't look on your fucking Instagram. Jump the fuck up and head to the bathroom. Run the sink. Toothpaste on toothbrush. As you're brushing, have the shower running so the water's hot when you're ready. Done brushing your teeth. Jump your funky ass in the shower. It's a fucking process. Follow that routine every fucking day and you get used to it. But these motherfuckers act like taking a shower is like, oh man, that's too much. That's too much. I can't take no shower, man. That's just too much. The fuck it is. Motherfucker jump they rotten ass in my fucking car. And Uber now be wondering why I don't be picking up motherfuckers all the time. It's because I like to keep my shit high level. I like lux rides. I like up. I like people going to nightclubs. People showered up going somewhere. I like people showered up coming to dinner, going to dinner. I like that shit because motherfuckers done showered, got dressed, smell good, dressed nice. Some of these raggedy motherfuckers roll out of bed, ass stinking, running right into the fucking office. The fuck wrong with you, man? Take a goddamn shower. Now my car smells amazing. I had to start it up. I got turtle wax fucking cleaner and shit. I spray that shit all over my seats. Let it soak into the leather a little bit. Wipe that shit out real good. Seats dry out perfectly. I can add conditioner to it later, but for right now, I just like my seats to air out. So I spray that shit, let it soak it up, clean it up. Man, it smells like brand new fucking leather. You can smell it. it smells good. Motherfucker don't... They ain't all funky and shit, because I swear to God, Uber just need to fucking add a button on they fucking device, on they driver app, or they rider app, that says fucking nuts and butts. So when that motherfucker pops up and starts flashing, when you start fucking trying to request a ride, and that shit start flashing nuts and butts, you be like, why is this shit flashing nuts and butts on my screen when I'm trying to order a ride? It's telling you to check your nuts and your butts to make sure you motherfuckers don't stink before you get in somebody's car. That's why that shit's flashing. Okay, I just did my Sherry Lynn ride. So that was my first appointment out the way. Now I'm headed downtown for my second reservation. Yeah, but she was pretty cool. She was a first grade teacher and everything at some point. I don't know if she still is, but she was talking about how she was a first grade teacher or whatever. But that was her ride, the 2020 ride. And great lady, great source of energy. I mean, she is a really, some people are very nice, especially at this time in the morning. I love it when people are headed to the airport, they're nice just can't stop smiling, full of energy, the conversation is there, that shit's good, that shit's good, a lot of people don't have that energy, they wake up very shitty, they wake up just, first thing they do is grab their fucking phone, they don't spend time taking care of themselves, and I think that's what happened with the rotten ass dude, you need to t wake up and take care of yourself, don't wake up and get on the fucking internet, because it'll take up too much time, now you don't have no time to clean yourself, don't wake up and jump on Facebook. Don't wake up and jump on YouTube. Do all that shit after you take care of you. Brush your teeth. Fucking put on good clothes. Shower up and everything. You know, throw a load of laundry in, motherfucker. Why you got time? Just throw a load of laundry. It'll be dry by the time you get home. Don't worry about it. Take care of you. And then you be pleasant like this lady. She was all ready. She was wearing a little black shirt or a little fucking, you know, denim knickerbockers, whatever the fuck they be wearing. They call them now. I don't even know what the fuck. Capris. That's what they call them. Probably Capris. So she have no knickerbockers on. The motherfucker had Capris. But you know what I'm talking about. Those kind of pants. Had a little sand wedge shoes on and shit. She was ready to fucking fly. She was clean. She was ready to do her fucking thing. She got up and she took care of herself. And that's how you start your motherfucking day. You wake up. You take care of you. Fuck the internet, fuck Instagram, fuck Facebook. Wake up and take care of you. Don't wake up and be so busy arguing with motherfuckers back and forth from the night before, the day before. Oh, she left me a tip. I love it, I love it. Don't be so fucking busy arguing with motherfuckers on the internet and shit like that, man. See, I that was some good fucking energy, man. I know shit. I just feel shit sometimes. I'ma run into her again, I know, because I run into a lot of people two and three times. But when you so busy arguing with motherfuckers on the internet the night before or two weeks ago, you see a comment on the internet, you arguing with that motherfucker, or you see something else and you start arguing with that mother, you know, you ain't took care of yourself yet. You ain't fucking showered. You ain't shaved your head to make it feel nice and fucking smooth. Put on aftershave, make it smell real clean and shit. Like you just left the fucking barbershop. You ain't did none of that shit because you sitting on the fucking internet right now arguing with motherfuckers first thing in the morning. 
That's taking up too much time that could be used to take care of you. Fuck all these people that want to suck up your time with negative energy. Take care of you first. And when you good, you got to radiate good. You feel good. You dress good. You smell good. You talk to a motherfucker. Good morning. But if you wake the fuck up and all you're doing is arguing with motherfuckers on the internet, now your ass stink, your breath fucking stink, your clothes is fucking wrinkled, your goddamn shoes don't match one sock longer than the other fucking sock because you spend too much fucking time fucking with other people. Wake up. Take care of you. Fuck everything else. And like I said, this lady woke up. She took care of herself. And that energy radiated. I mean, she was smiling the whole fucking time. We laughing, just talking about life and, you know, this and that. And talking about hobbies and, you know, mechanic work and fun shit. And how her brother, he's a night worker because he does, you know, 24-hour pharmacy. And, you know, we having a good fucking chat. We're fucking chatting. Because she was, the dude, the dude who smelled like rotten ass, that motherfucker didn't say two words the whole ride because he knew he fucking stank. The motherfucker jumped in a clean ass car smelling like lavender and shit. And this motherfucker smelling like goddamn corn chips. He knew he was fucked up. So you can't even radiate good energy and feel good about yourself when you know you done fucked up. You ain't took care of yourself this morning. You woke up and you've been doing other shit other than jumping in the fucking shower. Other than brushing your teeth and putting on clean clothes. Other than giving yourself a hairline or shaving your fucking head, clipping your fucking mustache. Now I'm not doing that because I got to be downtown. Fuck that shit. Nope, that's way too fucking far. Because this is my appointment right here. Opportunities. Let's go in this bitch real quick. 5 a.m. I got to be downtown at 5 o'clock a.m. So it's 3.43. I got an hour and 15 minutes before my next one. So I'm going to go sit somewhere and chill. Eat me a motherfucking donut or a big-ass cookie. I'm going to go serve K on 7th Street in Roosevelt. Give me a big-ass fucking cookie. That's what I'm about to do. I'm feeling pretty good right now. I think I deserve a fucking cookie. Fuck that. So let's go take care of Jeff right now. Get this motherfucker a cookie. Jeff deserves a fucking cookie. Get him one. <laughs> Shit. If you do well, motherfucker, go buy yourself some Cold Stone ice cream today. The shit's a little expensive, but motherfucker, you deserve it. You've been working too hard. Go to Cold Stone, buy you the biggest motherfucking ice cream you can buy, not doing Uber X share. Get you some motherfucking ice cream. Get you a fucking cookie. Buy you a, a new pair of fucking socks that you've been looking at with the little dingleberries hanging on the back of the motherfucker or something. And, and take care of you. Enjoy your fucking life. Enjoy yourself. I'm about to get off on 7th Street and head down. 694. Fuck no. You out your motherfucking mind, you dumb son of a bitches. Eight fucking miles away. No, I'm downtown where the surge is at, motherfucker. I'm the Surgeon General, goddammit. The Surgeon General. Smoking causes cancer, bitch. And that's not a hot enough deal for me, motherfucker. This is the Surgeon General coming at you. The Uber Surgeon General. Fucking smoking causes cancer looking ass, motherfucker. But yeah, I'm about to hit up 7th Street and Roosevelt right there. I see that little surge over there. I don't give a fuck. They say $2 next trip. I really don't give a fuck. See that shit? <laughs> yeah. Not for me. That's not for me. That's for some fucking body else that don't know what the fuck is really real. Because I'm one of the motherfuckers that don't give a fuck. You know, I really go spend $2 on a fucking cookie and do some shit like that. Because the cookie is for me. Burning fucking gas is for Uber. I ain't burning no fucking gas for Uber. I'm getting the fucking cookie. Fuck these motherfuckers. Okay, while I was sitting down here eating my cookie, I got Tara. She's a mile away from me. She's trying to get to the airport. It's a $10 run. I'm like, fuck it. I'll do it. Do a quick $10 run to the airport. I'm only like, what, eight miles away maybe, something like that, eight, nine miles away. So I'm going to do that because, like I said, I got until five before my next appointment anyways. So I'll probably grab Tara, take her, see what I can get down there, come back downtown, and just keep doing, you know, bouncing back and forth. It's not been a bad, super bad fucking day. I mean, 117, it's okay. Been online for six and a half hours a day. Most of that time has been chatting with you motherfuckers. And I enjoy doing that more than I enjoy driving now. Because I swear to God, it's like driving is getting me a fucking headache. Because these people out here, they're just, they're not being quick enough to the car sometimes. Y'all see me cancel motherfuckers like that. They're not being, you know, straight up with how many riders we're getting. Uber X shared. Motherfuckers had too many people. Then last night, the motherfuckers that was arguing and fighting and shit with the other driver, trying to get over to my car. 
Uber needs to Uber and Lyft need to go through some shit. We got funky motherfuckers jumping in cars. They need to really send out a mass fucking message to all these fucking riders and be like, stop fucking with these drivers. They are not paid enough for the shit that y'all taking them through. Understand, these rides are cheap fucking rides. They're not a whole lot. You ain't got Uber X, Uber XL, luck shit. You ain't got all that. You only got so much you can do in a fucking ride with the money you're paying. So treat these drivers a little better because these motherfuckers is canceling rides and declining shit left and right. That's why a lot of motherfuckers are stranded all the time. Take better care of the drivers. We can get shit done. But at the current point we going, man, I'd rather sit on the side of the road and look at these raggedy motherfuckers and talk to y'all on a message. Shit, that's, that's better for me because I can screen record shit and let you motherfuckers know and be laughing like a motherfucker. And the next day, we'll fucking go over the video or something like that and we'll laugh at the video. But for the most part, it's like, man, these riders, they need to get a message. They need to, a message has to fucking go out. Shit's got to start going better. Because people ain't, ain't on the up and up with this ride share shit no more. Too many scams out there. Every other fucking video you see, motherfuckers trying to get free fucking food, lying. I never got my fucking sausage. Motherfucker got it right in their fucking hand while they talking. Like, bitch, I just handed you that sausage you holding in your hand. I had this from yesterday. Yeah, right. The motherfucker's still warm, you idiot. But people are just doing too much, way too fucking much right now. And motherfuckers got to really start thinking, you know, this is our career. This is the career we chose. Anybody who has a career, they know they can get fucking career burnout to where, you know, like when I was with accounting, 14-hour days, I ended up quitting that shit when I was 38 years old. I was done. After 20 years, I'm done with accounting. Done. Because sometimes the environment that's being created at different points in time can get people to say, I probably need to rethink this shit and do something different. Like, I enjoy driving ride share. I like fucking kicking it, but just over the summers? Fuck no. The summers are horrible for fucking ride share because the energy is just not the same on a consistent basis. Just dropped off Tara at the airport. Cool little lady. I love people with good energy. Like I said, she was pretty cool. We, we were laughing and joking or whatever. So hopefully she has a great flight. And then as I was dropping her off, uh, one of the homeboys, one of the drivers in the black Tesla was like, hey, bro, keep up the good videos. <laughs> I was like, what? Hold up. Wait a minute. They be, they be spotting a little car at the airport. They know we trying to get this airport money early in the morning, man. I love to see that shit, man. See my brothers out making this money. They ain't letting this shit get past us. You know, we out here early, early. It's 4.15 in the morning. And I, like I said, dude, he was doing a drop. I was doing the drop. Cool shit, man. Cool shit. I love when, you know, I see these drivers out here smiling, having a good time, not arguing with motherfucking passengers and shit like we be seeing videos of. I love that shit, man. Like I said, we can have a good time making ride share if these apps just stop trying to fuck us over. Just realize we good people, man. That's all we are, fucking good people. Just let us take care of our families in peace. Don't rip us off. Don't try to cheapskate us. Don't steal from us. Don't set us up with shitty fucking riders that y'all know shouldn't even be on the fucking platform. Don't have us delivering chicken sandwiches to motherfuckers that's lying about getting their fucking chicken sandwiches. Stop doing that shit. Just let us have a good time. Like going up giving brother dap and everything through the window. That shit's cool, man. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do. As drivers, we're a community. Just wishing each other are doing well. Glad to see a smile on his face. Glad to see him, you know, getting the luggage in and out. He was out the car like me. He was taking luggage out. Shit, I'm getting luggage out. A lot of motherfucking drivers you see, they be like, I don't get out of my car. I'm not taking out no luggage. It's like, bro, that's probably why you're in a position you in. You fucking grumpy motherfucker. Probably not getting the goddamn diamond tips. And then on top of that shit, I mean, you, you probably need to get out and kind of walk around a little bit, to be honest. You need to get the fuck out and do some goddamn sit-ups. Walk around. Get the blood flowing through your motherfucking body. Because sitting in these goddamn seats all day, every day, shit's not healthy. Driving all this fucking, this is not healthy for us. Trust me, it's not. It's worse than sitting in a motherfucking office seat all day. I mean, we sitting in cars, taking bumps and bruises, lower back all fucked up, legs and shit going numb, fucking elbows all ashy and shit from rubbing on the goddamn console. This shit's not good for your motherfucking right elbow. You don't have one elbow that look nasty as a motherfucker like alligator skin, and the other elbow smooth as a motherfucker. You might want to wear a fucking Allen Iverson fucking sleeve while you fucking drive, because this shit's like a sport. Fucking cover up your rusty ass fucking elbow and get out here and fucking drive. But make sure you get out and you walk around a little bit. You know, kind of kind of get some energy going, man. Get, get the blood fucking flowing. But 
lot of these motherfuckers, man, they don't they don't know how to do ride share right, man. They they not taking out luggage, they sit in the fucking car, grumpy as a motherfucker, dropping cigarette ashes all in the floorboard. Got motherfucking Cheerios all in the floorboard. Motherfucker ain't had Cheerios in two years. You ain't vacuumed this motherfucker out. You ain't ate Cheerios in two motherfucking years. You got Cheerios in the floorboard. Realize that shit and clean your motherfucking car out. Stop being that type of driver. Don't do that shit. Like I said, I'm, I'm glad I see brothers out here getting this fucking money, though. That shit's cool, man. That shit's cool. I got one last appointment to go. This shit starts at like 5, I think. I got them at 5. Hopefully, they don't try to send me another bullshit ride. They might send me something. Hopefully, it's just downtown. If it's downtown, I'm good with that. But if it's kind of like past downtown, I'm not dealing with that shit because I would like to be downtown. I just did the quick airport hop just because. You know, use the airport people tip. If they don't, it's cool. But you still get in. You kind of figure shit out. You network. I'm in. I'm out. It's quick fucking money. Airport drops are quick money. I don't do airport pickups because there's something about being downstairs and motherfuckers not knowing how to drive. I like to be upstairs. I like to do my drops upstairs and be out of there. Terminal 4, I'm gone. Pick up at Terminal 3, shit. You got motherfuckers stopping in the middle of the street, opening up their doors and shit, opening up their motherfucking trunk. I be like, what the fuck are you doing? This is a street, goddamn it. It's not a parking lot. But that's drop-offs, though. That's airport drop-offs. They got that kind of fucking energy, man. Dumb shit energy. And these motherfuckers right here, I gotta fucking hit the hit the power button. We gotta get going. Cause you motherfuckers is lagging. But yeah, hopefully, like I said, I, I do this last airport drop. Traffic's kind of building up right now. So you know motherfuckers is all up from work. Hopefully everybody took a fucking shower today. Don't walk into work fucking stinking. Make make everybody's day better. Don't walk into fucking work smelling like yeah, it's been out rolling around in the fucking grass with a fucking cocker spangle all fucking night. Smelling like grass and ass. Take a fucking shower. Do something different with your life. It's like you keep doing the same old shit. You're walking in smelling like hay. Hey! Motherfuckers don't want to smell no fucking horse hay. It's like you've been tossing big ass bells of fucking hay all the way till fucking midnight. Then you want to come in and work smelling like that shit. Take a shower. But here we go getting off at 3rd Street. I'm going to go over here and sit. I was going to get off at 7, but it's too many motherfuckers over there. I wasn't getting by. So I'm going to get off at 3rd, cruise over here somewhere, sit. Let me see. I got woo, 40 minutes. 40 fucking minutes. Nope. Too far from downtown. Sorry. Can't do that shit. Like I said, if motherfuckers give me something around downtown, I'll deal with it. That shit? Nah, I'm not going down the highway no fucking further. This is the end of the road right here, motherfucker. This is it. So hopefully they got something for me down here. Otherwise, no, nah, I'm cool. They got in, Oh, that might be a good ass surge too. How much is that? How much is that? They won't fucking tell me. Oh, 475? <laughs> Fuck that. Ooh, 459. I appreciate that shit, lady. I appreciate it. Fuck that shit. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Bam. Man. Some people are really good fucking energy. Like I said, I love airport in the morning, man. That right there is already like $12 in tips just from doing two airport runs. That's $12 in tips from two airport runs. I got my last airport run coming up. Man, I love people that be going to the airport. They are very generous fucking people and they cool as shit. What is that? 133 in like six, seven hours? Eh, not too bad, but it ain't good either. I wish they, like I said, I wish these motherfuckers told us actual drive time. Because this, this shit right here, online time, is, is a crock of shit. That's for their little algorithm to fuck with us. To say, hey, you only got another five hours to drive. You better take some rides. You're going to be broke. Fuck you. I'd rather go broke than take these shitty fucking rides. It's like, I'm not doing that shit. Give us something we're fucking taking so we ain't sitting around, you know, fucking burning gas, going all the way down to where y'all trying to send me to. Then got to turn around and come all the way back downtown. I'm downtown. Give me some downtown rides. Quit fucking with me, man. Look at that. $15 in tips. I thought it was 12. So it's $15 and wait a minute. It says $7.55 tip. What what? Okay. That was $7.55 on the 27. What was the $7.48 on then? Oh, that was the food tip. Okay, okay. All right. They just haven't showed another one yet. Because I was like, wait a minute. $15 in tip? Motherfucker, I just calculated like $12. You're 
you bitches better not be stealing from me. That's why I gotta pay attention to these fuck, cause we can get confused real quick with these old lackey ass apps. These motherfuckers don't send all the information properly, on time, none of that shit. That's what I'm talking about, 459. Now I'm talking about $12 in tips. You lackey motherfuckers, send that shit quicker. Don't have me mad. I'm over here mad like you motherfuckers just ripped me the fuck off. It's latency periods. You motherfuckers are slow. You're mentally slow. <laughs> I'm telling you. I be telling that shit to motherfuckers I be meeting. They be fucking with me sometimes. I like, motherfucker, you are mentally slow. And that just means, man, that, that's real shit. If you don't think fast enough, like people always ask me, man, you talk fast, you talk fast. Motherfucker, because I think fast. You're like, I'm having a hard time structuring my sentences. Nah, motherfucker, you think slow. Ain't got shit to do with sentence structure. You fucking think slow. It's a complicated way to, to put these words together, to formulate a thought. No, it ain't. You fucking think slow. That's all that is. Call that shit what it is. Oh, the cop just saw me do that. Look at him. Look at him. He's sitting over there like... I see you, motherfucker! And I'm going to sit here and turn my shit off, unbuckle my fucking seatbelt. Wait a minute. Let me make sure this big-ass truck ain't coming to get me. Let me back up some. Yeah, I'll back up some. Cool, cool, cool. There you go. Yeah, he was like, I just need to turn. That's what he was doing. That big ass 18 wheeler needed to turn. He saw, I'll, I'll turn my car and everything off. As soon as I saw that motherfucker doing that big ass horseshoe, I turned my shit back on and put this motherfucker in reverse. He was giving me the peace sign because he knew. I, I don't wait for motherfuckers to ask me. I have common sense. I know logistics. I know geometry, motherfucker. If I see somebody trying to get through and it ain't no way, I'll put my shit in reverse where either I go fucking forward. I hate when motherfuckers just sit in their fucking car, seeing you trying to do something in traffic or in a parking lot, and they just fucking sit there. It's like, dumb motherfucker, do I got to tell you what's going on or do you realize what's going on? Do you see what the fuck is going on? There's a car making a turn, whether it's a fucking U-turn, left turn, right turn, and you just fucking sitting there. The turn cannot be completed till you make a fucking decision. Oh, uh, I'm gonna sit here and see what this goddamn 18 wheel is doing. Fuck you mean, see what he's doing. He's turning, you dumb motherfucker. He's about to make a big ass turn. Back the fuck up. Okay, that was my last ride right there. I'm done for the dizzy. So I got that. Like I said, that was my day before, 133. Then I got that 18 with so about 150 bucks and about six. Yeah, damn near eight hours of driving. What the hell? Like I said, not really eight hours of drive, about eight hours of being online. So I got that 133 that 18, so about 150 bucks, eight hours online. Not bad with what's going on right now. We know it's a lot of shit going on, so we just kind of like everybody's just out there kind of just pacing ourselves until goddamn late August. So you just got to keep the pace up, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to get fucking rich in all them banger ass fucking days, $700, $800 days and shit like we used to. July's taken care of. July's water under the bridge. If you made it through July, congratulations to the next fucking level. Here we are right now. Now we just got to make it through August. We got August coming up, you know, in half the month. Let's knock this shit out. Grind, grind July out so we can handle August bills when August hits. Once that shit happens, all we got is September. And we know September going to be jamming because fucking football season's back, baby. When football season come back, oh, we about to eat. All these motherfuckers finna see that ride share drivers made it through the storm. We made it through, came out the other fucking side. And that's what I can't wait. Because right now, this is the shittiest time of the year. Horrible time of the year. But we knew this shit was coming. So this year, all fall. Do not take your raggedy ass on strike. Do not let these motherfuckers talk you into not making money during the busiest times. Do not let these bastards stress you the fuck out. You get your money when you ready to get it and you drive when you ready to drive because you got bills that you need to fucking handle. Fuck everybody else and their opinions about you driving when you feel like fucking driving. 